monitoring steps that would provide work permits for up to 5 million immigrants now living illegally in the U.S. On Friday, Obama plans to hold a rally in Las Vegas focused on his decision. A veteran of the United States Navy was fired from his job at a hotel after posting pictures to Facebook of Federal Protection Services and Department of Homeland Security vehicles near Ferguson, Missouri. Mark Paffrath says his boss and the head of security at the Drury Hotel admonished him for taking the pictures and fired him. He says he was told he dishonorably served his country during his three years in the military. CNN confirmed that the DHS does have additional units in Ferguson while awaiting the grand jury decision. The Government Accountability Office has released a new report detailing a lack of accountability for federal funds used at federal fusion centers. Fusion centers are run by Department of Homeland Security and operate as information sharing centers for local, state, and federal agencies. The centers have been criticized for violating civil liberties and privacy and wasting taxpayer dollars. The Electronic Frontier Foundation says the report's suggested measures aren't necessarily meaningful. Today's edition of the Liberty Bee is made possible by eFoods Direct, redefining the way you think about storable food. They've created a menu of food that is so good, so easy to make, you'll find yourself eating it every day, even though it has a shelf life of up to 25 years. eFoods Direct is offering 10% off to all Liberty Beat listeners. Just go to eFoodsDirect.com slash Liberty Beat or call 800-620-5520 and mention Liberty Beat for your savings today. Support for Liberty Beat comes from The Corey Moore Show, live each Friday night at 10 o'clock Eastern. Liberty-minded, comedy-focused. That's The Corey Moore Show. Listen live at CoreyMooreShow.com. This is The Liberty Beat for Thursday, November 20th, 2014. Check out the website at TheLibertyBeat.com and like us on Facebook at Facebook.com slash TheLibertyBeat. A 56-year-old Houston woman was sentenced to nearly two years in prison for mailing a letter threatening to kill President Obama. Teddy Bear Paradise pled guilty in August after admitting to sending the letter. She said she was traveling to Washington, D.C. to kill Obama or would hire people to assassinate him. On Tuesday, a judge's ruling was overturned regarding whether small drone aircraft fall under the regulation of the Federal Aviation Administration. The National Transportation Safety Board reviewed the appeal from the FAA and found that the agency has the authority to fine operators of small drone aircraft. The appeal was related to an aerial photographer who was fined $10,000 for operating his drone in a reckless manner on the University of Virginia campus in 2011. The ruling does not address the legality of commercial drone operation. To mark what would have been the 30th birthday of Brittany Maynard, a Right to Die advocacy group has issued new video footage of the terminally ill woman. In the video, recorded in August, Maynard calls on more states to enact legislation allowing the terminally ill to end their life on their own terms. Maynard, who had brain cancer, moved to Portland so she could use Oregon's law to end her own life, which she did on November 1st. The Liberty Beat is made possible through the support of Midas Resources Incorporated, helping clients convert their paper 401ks and IRAs to solid gold and silver. Get their 10 Reasons book free by calling 800-686-2237. That's 800-686-2237. Want to reach tens of thousands of like-minded listeners every day with your messenger product? The Liberty Beat is looking for sponsors for their daily news service. Support this grassroots media project while expanding your reach to a targeted market. To inquire further, visit thelibertybeat.com slash advertise. This is The Liberty Beat for Thursday, November 20th, 2014. I'm Brian Hagan reporting. Reminding you, spread liberty with a smile. We have a breaking news blast on the tragic situation happening across the country in which more than 40,000 Americans have been trapped in a confessions animal hoarding marathon on Animal Planet for the last 13 hours. The Animal Hoarders Marathon began at 9 this morning as victims were preparing for a full day before hearing the fateful sound of the show's opening credits. Almost instantly, thousands were pinned to their couches by a story of a heavyset homosexual living with his partner, his toothless sister, and 31 chihuahuas. Rescue workers rushed to free as many victims as they could. The rope's secure? Rope's secure. We're going to get you out of here. Just hold on a second, ma'am. Wait, I think the next one is about monkeys. Ready? Ready! Pull! No, no, wait, wait. Can I just see what happens with the feral cat? In other parts of the country, rescue workers enlisted volunteers who had already seen the episodes to spoil them for the victims. Oh yeah, this 
this one. This is about the lady living with the dogs in the trailer. She doesn't even get evicted in the end. This is the Onion News Network. Free Talk Live, 855-450-3733. It's Mark with you. Danica. And Johnson. That's right. It's Ian's night off, so uh, you've got us. I'm very uh, sorry. You can call in and talk about whatever it is you want to talk about here on the uh, this live edition of Free Talk Live. Uh, the number, 855-450-FREE, and that uh, free at the end spells is spelled out. Or spelled out is numbered out, uh, 3733, so that's 855-450-3733. Also, you can call in using Skype. Our username is lrn.fm. If you uh, call in with Skype, it, it, you'll just have to send a friend request first, and then we can, um, you know, we'll, we'll take care of that one within a few minutes, and then you can go ahead and call in. It sounds better. That's username lrn.fm. And I've got some really great news, guys. The system is working. For the first time ever, a prosecutor, I assume this is in the United States, will go to jail. Well, I know it's in the United States. I assume this is the first time ever in the United States. Will go to jail for wrongfully convicting an innocent man. The system's working. For once. Yep. Well, I'm, I'm ready to take uh, victories where I can get them and large or small, and you'll see just how small this victory is. <laughs> Today in Texas, uh, this is from uh, Huffington Post, a former prosecutor and now judge Ken Anderson pled guilty to intentionally failing to disclose evidence in a case that sent an innocent man, Michael Morton, to prison for the murder of his wife. When trying the case as a prosecutor, Anderson possessed evidence that may have cleared Morton including statements from the crime's only eyewitness that Morton wasn't the culprit. Anderson said in, um, in this uh, evidence that, uh, excuse me, sat on this evidence and then watched Morton get convicted while Morton remained in prison. Watched. He watched while he get convicted. No, he had him convicted. Right. <laughs> because he had no interest in justice whatsoever. Right. I mean, really, what should happen is that this person should also be disbarred immediately. Well, I, I'm not exactly sure whether that's going to happen, but he's certainly stepping down as a judge. Um, let's see. For the next 25 years, Morton was in prison. Oh, Anderson's wow. career flourished and eventually became a judge. In today's deal, Anderson pled to criminal contempt and will have to give up his law license, perform 500 hours of community service. By the way, Ian, um, for... Uh, filling out government paperwork in the wrong order when getting his driver's license is doing 100 hours community service. So this gives you some idea of uh, what we're talking yeah. about. 500 hours community service and spend 10 days in jail for sending a man to prison for 25 years. Wow. Does this at least open him up to civil suit? It probably Yes, it probably would. That's I good. would think it would. But, I, you know, I mean, I'm just stunned at the disparity here. So first he gets to plead out. I believe that plea, plea beagle bargains in, in and of themselves are wrong. Im, they're immoral. They they cheat everybody except for guilty criminals and government bureaucrats whose job it is to uh, take guilty people to trial. Those are the only two people that make out with a uh, plea bargain. So he should be have to get his day in court, sit in front of a jury, and as far as I'm concerned, he should face the time that the man sat in prison. I agree. He loses 25 years of his life, and the man that wrongfully convicted him only gets 10 days? 10 days. Now, it's possible the jury could have found him guilty anyway, even if the information hadn't been given. So I suppose there maybe you could claim that there's some kind of mitigating circumstances or something. But if he had to spend a month for every day that this guy, for every month, for every year this guy was in prison, it would it would be at least some kind of deterrent, right? Sure, absolutely. And that's just random and arbitrary, you know, make it some percentage. I just made it a twelfth because, I don't know, month and year, one month, one year. It's completely arbitrary. But it certainly should be a heck of of a lot more time than 10 days. I totally agree. 10 days, that's that's nothing. Yeah. So um, what uh, makes today's plea knows, noteworthy, excuse me here, is uh, not that Anderson engaged in misconduct that sent an innocent man to prison. That happens all the time with prosecutors and police officers that, um, you know, they 
are, aren't ethical. They take their constitutional obligations and just toss them out the window. But this is, in fact, the um, what's newsworthy is the and novel about today's plea is this is that the prosecutor was actually punished in a meaningful way for his transgressions. So this author here, um, who's it coming from? Mark Godsey, he says, I give speeches about the innocence movement and tell stories from real cases all around the world, no matter where I am. When I finish speaking, the question usually is what happens to the police officer or prosecutors who did this to this poor guy? The answer is almost always nothing or worse. The police officer was promoted and is now chief of his department. Or gets paid leave of some kind. Yeah, all the all these things. Generally, it's, uh, you know, this is this is it. I mean, it's it generally they get off and... I guess the question I have is, have you ever said to yourself, well, our system's broken, but it's the best one in the world? And if that's what you've said, is, is does that have any – how how messed up is justice on the planet if, <laughs> if the, this legal system that we have is the best one in the world? I may even believe that statement, but that's like saying I have the best form of cancer. Having cancer really stinks. The judicial system that is a monopoly is not serving us. And government bureaucrats who are paid and incentivized to send people to prison, get, get there's no disincentive for doing something wrong. I wonder how many people there are out there, though, that would like to see a system of justice where it's like, well... I think she has magical powers, and therefore we should, uh, you know, tie a log to her feet and uh, throw her in the water and see if uh, she floats. You know, like a, a an actual witch hunt. Because an actual I, witch hunt. Yeah. I, I do feel like there are probably a lot of people who think that that's how justice should be. Still, you know, that these, like, you know, absolute uh, uh, luddite kind of. Uh, you know, throwback, <laughs> like, I, I anachronistic. Imagine. You know, people who are, are who are like want to see justice like, carried out like it was in the Dark Ages. Off with his head! I can't imagine there's that many people out there that are like that. Let's go to the phones though. We got uh, Adam calling in. Uh, I guess there was uh, the, that Colbert rapport oh, came yes. out with the uh, Robin Hooders. Adam wants to talk about that, and it's probably a good idea for us to talk about. It. I hadn't sure, considered yeah. that. Sure. Adam, you're on Free Talk Live. What's on your mind? Hey, what's up, guys? Hey, um, I don't know if I'm the first person calling in about you this. Are, but you I are. Actually, I actually just watched it like five minutes ago. So on, can you give uh, us Hulu. give me a recap of what happened to you here? Uh, pretty much, he talked about the whole Robin Hooding incident. He made you guys look like a bunch of fools. Right. Oh, so we've seen is, it. This is the Colbert Report. Um, he he puts a yep. seg- segment yep. up, and they're talking about Robin Hooding. Um, essentially, he introduces it and takes it out. Um, but you know, it's it's its own freestanding piece. And in it, uh, there are quite a few of the local free keeners that are featured. Ian uh, Ian gets his picture taken. But, uh, you know, it's interesting how they kind of switch around as to who's who. Uh, but, uh, yeah, they, they, they certainly, I, I think that it was in a very, you know, portrayed uh, Freekeeners in a very bad light. Ian seems delighted with it. And there's an article at Freekeen.com that he has uh, put up about the hilarious, uh, hilarious bit. So, um, you know, that's that. What's your, what are your thoughts, Adam? So, yeah. Uh, I'm actually I'm a big supporter of the Free State Project, and I love the whole uh, idea of Robin Hooding because I, it is kind of like legalized theft in a certain way, and it's just kind of revenue collection. And it, I don't, I don't think it really serves the public good to, you know, charge people all this money just for making the mistake of putting one pew or quarter in. But um, I just, I just wanted to call in uh, to see if you guys were gonna like address it, this or that, and. Well- I'm not going to play it, but I, I'd, I'd be happy to talk to, talk with you about it. First off, um, are you a signer of the Free State Project, Adam? Yes, okay. yes. I'm uh, I'm trying to move up there. I'm I'm on the other side of the Berlin Wall, down in Mass. Yep. Uh, <laughs> we don't actually have a wall, people. The, the people from Massachusetts can come across and buy liquor and and uh, cigarettes at a lower price if that's what they want to do, and fireworks. Well, I grew up in Nashua, and I joined the military, and I came here to go to college, and. Etc. Cetera, Etc. Cetera. I'll eventually end up there with you guys. So, so, so um, I'm curious. How, how does your military you. experience affect you? Um, well, before I joined the military, I was a big. Uh, I love statism. I watched Bill O'Reilly all night, and and I uh, I read some books by Ron Paul, and I got switched over to the whole libertarian mindset. And uh, ever since then, I've just been loving it. 
Adam, we'll talk about it. Thanks for the call and thanks for bringing it up. 855-450-3733. Did you see the video from uh, about uh, uh, freaking on Colbert Report? Here's a special message for those of you who owe the IRS at least 10000 or more in back taxes. The IRS has special programs in place that could eliminate or reduce your tax debt by thousands of dollars. Call the tax helpline that has been set up to help you. 800-691-6129. That's 800-691-6129. Stop the wage garnishments, levies, and tax liens now. Once you've qualified and enrolled, the IRS will stop all the collection activities against you. These unique programs have been allocated to help the economy and significantly reduce or eliminate your tax burden. The IRS is currently accepting reduced settlements and other favorable programs. You may qualify for substantial savings, so get the help you need. For free information and to see if you qualify, take down the number now for the Tax Representation Hotline. 800-691-6129. That's 800-691-6129. 800-691-6129. Hi, this is Mark Edge, host of Free Talk Live. We've been witnessing a meltdown of the very economic engine that powers this country. With a printing press tethered to Washington politicians, bureaucrats, and central bankers, how can we put our trust in paper money? For years, I've been buying gold and silver from Midas Resources, and you should too. Come see gold.freetalklive.com or call 877-357-9938 for a free book titled 10 Reasons to Own Gold. With Washington, D.C. delivering more debt and printed promises, common sense tells us the future of the trend is obvious. Everyone listening should visit gold.freetalklive.com or call 877-357-9938. I trust Midas Resources for my gold, silver, platinum, and you can too. Again, I want you to have this book, and it's free. It's gold.freetalklive.com or 877-357-9938. 877-357-9938. Why did you move to the Shire? I moved here to the Shire because there's other people around who take liberty just as seriously as I do. I moved to the Shire because I saw videos of people challenging authority and thought that I could get support myself. It called to me, like, do this right now. I wanted to be around people like me who got it. And once I got here, I knew there was nowhere else that I wanted to be. I've always wanted to change the world. So I moved to the Shire to join people who were actually working towards doing the same thing. The people here are awesome, loving, and positive. It was for the adventure and for the feeling of something important is happening here, and I just wanted to come to sort of be part of that. Visit ShireSociety.com to read and sign the Shire Society Declaration and learn the reasons why, if you love liberty, you should immigrate to the Shire. Plus, add yourself to the Shire map at ShireSociety.com. That's ShireSociety.com. If you want to know the latest about Free Talk Live before we go on the air, all you need to decide is how you want it delivered. It's your choice. Visit news.freetalklive.com. You can get emailed announcements and participate in contests via our email updates list. Plus, we have a Twitter account that you can follow and a Facebook page where you can become a fan. So visit news.freetalklive.com to get news about Free Talk Live as soon as it's announced and the way you want it delivered at news.freetalklive.com. That's news.freetalklive.com. Are you a political activist who does things that the government might not like? Then this free ebook may save your life. RATS is your guide to protecting yourself against snitches, informers, informants, agents provocateur, narcs, finks, and similar vermin. RATS was written by OG libertarian Claire Wolf. RATS is a short book, easy to read, and available free in many formats. Download RATS free at rats-nosnitch.com. That's rats-nosnitch.com. Do you love Twitter? Make sure you favorite the LRN.FM Twitter account so you can receive our tweets at twitter.lrn.fm. That's twitter.lrn.fm. One eight five five four five zero three seven three three. You can call in and talk about whatever is on your mind. Here on Free Talk Live, it's Mark with you. Danica. And Johnson. 855-450-3733. In the last segment, um, we, uh, shoot, what was the caller's name? I've forgotten his name now. I didn't write it down. Apparently you guys I don't. I want to say Andrew. A- Adam. And Adam. 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 Okay. Yes, so sorry. Adam, it was an A name. 
Adam called in about the video that was done uh, by Colbert Bear Report, and I put it on our Facebook page. You can get to it at facebook.freetalklive.com. And it is uh, by the Colbert Report, and it's uh, featuring the free keeners doing Robin Hooding, and it basically calls them a bunch of douchebags and a variety of other names, a-holes, you know, the whole, the whole bit. And it... it, it Johnson, can you explain what Robin Hooding is before we go on any further? Sure. Robin Hooding is going around in front of the meter uh, people in an attempt to feed the meters before the meter reader can reach the meter and uh, issue a ticket. Yep. So they, uh, they, you know, they feature the free keeners. They, uh, they talk to Randy Filio, who's a uh, local uh, politician, and they basically— And they talk to a lot of really violent, thuggish— Real douchebags. The people that they featured in that video, the people, like, if you look up some of the people that they, like, if you know, you'd have to know who they are on site because some of them have, uh, you know, some big name personalities in them, but certainly featured on freekeen.com for attacking people with violence. And yet, that's funny that those are the people that the Colbert Report tended to feature are the people who are out there violating the law with Physical attacks on peaceful people. Oh, yeah. I don't want to call this uh, dishonest hit piece a dishonest hit piece, but that's exactly what it is. Oh, it's exactly I as mean, honest as I thought it would be from the Colbert Report. And, you know, oh, well, oh it, I'm going to go. Oh, I'm taking a stand against the Colbert Report. <laughs> it's 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 funny. Um, I mean, admittedly, I was amused. Um, I was also irritated at the uh, free keeners for, you know, this piece and uh, being part of it. Uh, obviously, there's nothing that I'm going to have it to do with it. I do not consider myself to be part of Free Keen, mainly because of stuff like this. Bad decisions right. is what I uh, consider it to be. Uh, what do you guys think? You Free Keen, do you uh, ally yourself with it, or do you find yourself wishing you weren't? Uh, I've considered whether – well, I'm not really allied with it. I've considered whether or not I wanted to write for Free Keen in the past. And, you know, again, there is there is something to be said for whether or not you want to have a, rela- a personal relationship with – the people of Keene, and certainly people are going to have a problem with you. Some people, I should say, not all people. But really, there's a subset of people that could have a problem with you if you are associated with Free Keene. Now, what I found out recently um, it, in that I've started uh, basically assisting with the um, – there's a thrift store that's open in town run by James Cleveland. And, Robin Hood. Yeah. Of Free Keen. And what is amazing to me is the number of people that I had no idea who exist in Keene who really, really don't like some of the bureaucrats and don't like some of the stop Free Keeners. I see. They have been coming in in droves to be like, we support you uh, and, you know, F those people. Those people who are, you are, you know, lying and naysaying, they get it. There's a ton of people in Keene who... Get it. And I had no idea that they existed. Yeah. Well, the the thing about the Robin Hood controversy is, is that there's certainly been some incidences where free keeners have said some things that, uh, you know, can be interpreted if taken in a soundbite as, uh, you know, confrontational to the uh, the meter mates. Sure. Now, the idea that this is what they do all day long. Ridiculous. Right. It's not what they do all day long. The vast majority of the time, they carry cameras around and to, in order to protect themselves from things that might be said. And if you take excerpts outside of a conversation, like for instance, how do you, you know, uh, you know, oh, you and your military service. Well, how do you feel about my military service? When you ask a question, somebody may give you an answer. Right. Right. And the answer may not be what you want to hear. Now, that answer that they give does not mean that they are insulting you. You have asked them a question. Right. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I mean, if I run around asking people if uh, if they think I'm overweight or have big ears, they're going some people are going to say yes. Right. And that's not an insult. Mm-hmm. It's not like somebody came up and said to me, you're fat and have big ears. It's just. I've asked. So, um, yeah, there's certain circumstances where that's occurred. And then they, the Colbert Report, with some really great editing um, and a really pretty funny video, goes and makes it seem like everything that's ever happened between the uh, the Robin Hooders and, and the city bureaucrats is always negative. But we can you, we can credit Colbert Report for, for coining the term the Afrokist. I mean, that's, yeah. just, that's, that's brilliant. <laughs> right. They, uh, uh, Garrett Ian, who is uh, one of the, the Robin Hooders, has a big giant head of hair, and it sticks out. 
out like an afro, and he says on the video that he self-identifies as an anarchist, and so they call him the Afrokist. I mean, the the other funny thing, the other funny, uh, you know, the, the dishonesty of this uh, report, Colbert report, which so much of his material is so dishonest. If you know. What's going on, you know, is in, being in radio, I've had to pay attention to the news for years and years and years. And when you watch mm-hmm. Colbert Report and you know, actually know the truth behind a lot of stories and you've actually read both sides, you know, you look at international news and you really get a clear picture of what's going on. You start to see like, wow, that's a lot of lies in that last report. It's almost like watching Alex Jones, but from the liberal perspective, you know, it's like, hey, he's lying, um, you well, know, or he's bending it. the facts. I've never <laughs> caught Alex Jones in a like full-on lie i've seen you know what i consider to be a uh you know liberal interpretation of the facts but uh, sure but that's exactly what colbert does it's it's not you know it's not necessarily um an outright lie it's just extremely dishonest it's just like oh well i can you know oh well he must be a Bilderberger because he's affiliated and this person bought a hamburger from him one time so therefore they're a business association it's just like come on that relationship is doesn't even make sense. And I that's just the type of example. But uh, yeah, Alex exactly. Jones, but- I don't want to get off on it either. What I wanted to bring up and what I was saying there is, for example, you know, you brought up the Africist name and they call, uh, they made fun of James about, the, you know, being the mastermind. Yeah. That wasn't a name. You know, they implied in the report like he was giving that name to himself. No, that's because people have been calling him the mastermind and the leader. And so the reason why he said that is he's like, I guess you could call me the mastermind because that's what everyone else has been calling me, which is the part that they cut out of that. I know what he was talking about because it's the same thing that goes on when everybody says Ian's the leader. Yeah. Well, it, and another thing they do is, is they show a bunch of sort of Republican talking heads talking about smaller government and that kind of thing uh, before they show what, uh, the, you know, the, the intro to the, the free keen piece and suggesting that these guys are teabaggers or whatever it right, is that they, right. they might be suggesting. This could not be further from the truth. Also, I love how Colbert uh, quotes Jefferson in the beginning, the government that uh, governs the least, uh, governs the best or whatever the, the right. quote is. Why doesn't he do an expose on Thomas Jefferson? Really? Why doesn't he go out and lampoon, eviscerate a founding father? Like, there's all kinds of things you can do. There's the poor black lady that he basically endangered, endangered and had sex with or whatever the story is. You know, go out there and do it, Colbert. Take a stand, man. Uh, right. You know, but it's, to me, really what this is, is this is a bunch of cheap shots lined oh, yeah. up one after another, and they come to a conclusion that the poor meter maids, uh, they, they've got a one one of them in there that quit the job and that was in the military, and they're suggesting essentially that the, uh, the, the Robin Hooders exacerbated his PTSD or whatever right. and drove him uh, from the, uh, the, the force. But I'd ask you, if you think that parking can be done differently in your town and you know that the town fathers want nothing to do with listening to you, how are you going to go about getting that changed? How would you do it? How do you change things in your town? 855-450-3733. Free Talk Live. Did you know by age 50, half of all men have an enlarged prostate? This means more urges to urinate, longer bathroom trips, waking at night to urinate, or issues with sex. If this sounds familiar, call us now, because we're shipping free bottles of Super Beta Prostate to listeners of this station. Super Beta Prostate is a non-prescription formula guaranteed to reduce the symptoms of your enlarged prostate. It's yours free. Pay only shipping and handling. Just call 1-800-881-1075. In clinical trials, the ingredient in Super Beta Prostate was shown to reduce urges to urinate, improve bladder emptying, reduce waking at night to urinate, and improve quality of life. This Super Beta Prostate free offer is for listeners of this station, but it won't last. Don't wait. Just call 1 800 881 1075. That's 1 800 881 1075. Call 1 800 881 1075. So the protection of life, liberty, and property is, is what the Free State Project is all about. But it's an, it's an effort to move 20,000 people who understand. It's about demonstrating to the entire country. That, yeah, we can have a free market, a truly free market. Making it just a freer, great place to live. It's 
the world's largest voluntarist libertarian community, and it's it's only getting bigger. That's amazing to be able to move to a place where other people like passionately believe in being free and independent. What the Free State Project is managing to do, though, is to put their money where their mouth is. It's physically getting up across the country and saying, "Let's go someplace and let's demonstrate the power of these ideas." There's a lot of kind of philosophy that surrounds liberty. There's a lot of thinking about it and talking about it. But here in New Hampshire, people are doing it. 101 Reasons Liberty Lives in New Hampshire, a documentary by Free State Project Early Movers. Watch it free at 101reasonsfilm.com. 101reasonsfilm.com. If you want to move to the free state and you're looking for some real estate, well, I know a guy who's really great. It's the realtor Mark Warden. Do you want a home with 20 acres, a lakeside cabin? Any takers for renters, buyers, and sellers too? Mark Warden is the guy for you. PorcupineRealEstate.com. Here's a chance to do a little activism while you're cruising Facebook, Twitter, or Google+. Between the LOL cats, the recipes, the hot girls, and the inspirational sunrise memes, Free Talk Live's post pass by your newsfeed. Like them. Comment. It gives us more exposure. If you don't see our posts, click like at facebook.freetalklive.com and then hover over it to click Get Notifications. It's an easy way to spread the ideas of liberty a bit further. I know you're busy, but you can spare that tenth of a calorie it takes to click on something. Facebook.freetalklive.com. Does this ever happen to you? Moments after you're introduced to someone, you forget his or her name. It's a common faux pas you'll want to avoid, especially if you're a job seeker. And even if you're not, here's a tip. As you are being introduced, and while you're still shaking hands, smiling, and making eye contact, say the person's name aloud. Not only does that make a deposit in your memory bank, it acknowledges the other person. And that is more than a nuance, as is maintaining eye contact. With money and attention so scarce now, effective communication skills have never been more important. Cutting through the clutter rather than blending into the blah, blah, blah will help you connect better no matter what the conversation. For more tips, hit survivalspeech.com. I'm Holland Cook. Listen to LRN.FM on any phone, anytime. 213-493-0309. That's 213-493-0309. Talk Live, 855-450-FREE. That's 855-450-3733. Just give us a call and talk about whatever is on your mind. 855-450-FREE. And uh, you can call us on Skype on LRN.FM. That's uh, our username is LRN.FM. And we've actually got a situation uh, here where we have a, a an inmate calling in. So I want to get straight into the call because he's got a limited period of time that he can talk. And so I'm going to jump him to the front of the line. Matt, can you hear me? Yes. Hi, Mark. Hey, what's going on? Oh, I just called to, to, to talk about something that's kind of going on with me and let people know about Immigration Customs Enforcement, ICE. Uh, what in the world could you possibly have to do with ICE? Well, ICE is uh, responsible for anything that goes on on the Internet because the Internet ca crosses international borders. So ICE has taken the, uh, the Internet as their purview. All right. This is seeming strange, but I guess I see some kind of logic to it. And uh, they, they got me for 26 photos on my computer, which were essentially nudist camp photos. But if you want to fight them, you'll do 30 years in prison. And as it is, they gave me 10. So uh, um, are these uh, photos, uh, like, I guess they're photos of kids at a nudist camp? Yes. Okay. So this is one of the things I've always thought was really strange in our uh, world of hyper concern about uh, sex crimes and that kind of thing. Right. Is kids can go to news camps and they can see naked people. And... There's pictures taken at nudist camps. There's all everything happens that a regular camp at a nudist camp, right? Right. So they interpret. How how do they find these pictures? Um, they 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 tracked them to my computer. So you sent them to other people then? No, 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 no. They 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 uh, 
They searched my house. Okay. Um, Why did they search your house? Uh, it was a domestic disturbance with my wife. All right. And uh, they they just they go rooting through your house. Um, I have some prior drug convictions. So they felt uh, at ease to go through all your stuff. Right. And they found these pictures. Yes. So how old are these um, these kids in these pictures? Uh, any age from, you know, I don't know, probably small kids, like two or three, all the way to oh. just old people. Oh, okay. I mean, but, but, I mean, this, this isn't like there was – the government even notes in my sentencing thing that there was no sexual activity. Oh, yeah. I just, you know what I mean? Yeah, I just I wanted mean, to know. Just, like, uh, these were people like, walking around and so forth. So if they if they note that it's it would seem like it would be difficult for them to get a conviction out of it. No, because the uh, the law is that if you track it all the way through the case law, it's uh, any child pornography is anything your uh, federal uh, judge says it is. All right. That's that's case law. What a federal judge judge says it is. Yes. Okay, so your you just didn't. Federal judge. At that point, you're you're leaving yourself open to whatever the interpretations are of that particular judge, right? Right. Okay, I can see why that would be a little concerning to you, but uh, you know it's difficult when you take the plea because people, you know. Well, my, they... my wife wanted my wife wanted me to take it to trial, but but when as soon as uh, I I we got ready to go to trial, instead of possession, they charged me with receipt and distribution, which just means that you receive them using a computer. You're guilty. Got and it. And that adds five more years. As well. And my, my federal defender told me my chances of winning a, the case, any federal case, are two in 1,000. Yeah, the chances are of, you know, taking something to trial, it gets very difficult. Um, it's it's strange to note in this country where, uh, you know, a, a fewer than, far fewer than 1% of cases that arrests ends up at trial. Far fewer than 1%. That means that, um, you know, it would seem to me that the people who are most likely to take it all the way of the, I don't know, let's call it 0.5% of people, the half a percent of people that will take it all the way, it would seem like those people would be like most likely to be guiltless. You know, those people are the ones that say, no, I'm not going to take your plea bargain because I am not guilty. Surely there are some that are guilty that want to take it all the way to trial, no doubt about it, but it, it just seems like it. And of those people, in felony cases, I can't speak to misdemeanors, in felony cases, the jury still finds them guilty two out of three times. Actually, my my attorney said your chances of winning at a trial in, in the feds are two in 1,000. I just can't believe that the numbers um, of, you know, people that take a case to the federal, you know, that nine, that 1,999 cases that the um, that people that actually go to court are found guilty. This call is from a federal prison. Yeah, it's, it's authentic. Um, <laughs> <laughs> people that, uh, that that actually take it to court are found guilty and only 1% or 0.1 or excuse me, one of those people goes free. Well, at least in the Eastern District of California in Fresno. I mean, he was just speaking, I think, there, but it's 998 cases in 1,000 will result in a guilty verdict. Well, it's uh, it's tough to e- imagine even that um, when you're when you're talking about trials. Right. Um, you know, I mean, I, uh, I believe that in cases that might be true because people take plea bargains oh, okay, and they're please. guilty. Perhaps. So, yeah. Nonetheless, so um, okay, so you got arrested for this stuff. What's up? Right. And so then, then uh, you know, uh, I I got ten year sentence. Um, and then just kind of as a footnote, uh, the. Uh, Immigration Customs Enforcement, ICE, the ones that arrested me, uh-huh. put an immigration detainer on me. An immigration detainer? <laughs> yes. I was born in Bakersfield, California. My parents both born in the United States. California uh, is not yet a foreign country. As much as <laughs> I, I just try, I'm trying, oh, I'm just telling people in the East Coast. I, I'm just letting them know, Even Matt. California the really is part of the United States of America. Go on, Matt. Yes. And so this is something they do to, to harass people, to try to prevent them from making bond. Why would they do that to you if you took a plea? No, no. This is before I even took the plea. They oh. did this to me when they arrested me. I see. And then, uh, you know, then I took the plea and I got 10 years in prison. Uh, that was back in 2011. And then a couple of months ago, I get this uh, notice of proposed debarment, which debars me from government contracts. What, what is a debarment? Benefits. Yes. Debarment is uh, what they use to prevent people who... Uh, commit crimes like, say, in the, in the securities industry, like prevent okay. them from ever working for an investment bank. Gotcha. Things like this. Um, I, I've dug 
through case law after case law. This is always financial stuff. Um, it's about – they're basically saying – What's it going to do to you? Well, it will prevent me from getting any loan scholarships or benefits or contracts with the government, which – I presume they're after my veterans' benefits, maybe. That huh. I mean, like my VA loan or something. I don't, I don't get disability or anything like that. But the uh, other thing is it prevents you from um, working for anybody who get, is a beneficiary of any uh, loans or contracts from the government or grants, like colleges or companies that have, like, Lockheed or somebody like that that has a, a corporate contract. When you start running the numbers on people who uh, work for companies, you know, if you, if you consider that anybody who works for a company that works for the government as essentially being somebody on the government dole, your numbers are starting to move into the more than 50% range of people in America. Right. Uh, and, and see, the thing, too, is or a subcontractor of those persons, and there's specific case law that geez. speaks about, uh, like, a college that, gets, of course, gets grants from the government. You can't even be a janitor. Right. You can't be for the company that works for the college as the janitorial staff. Right. You couldn't even right. get a job, say, Aramark, if you wanted to work in the cafeteria or something. What do you do about no, this? No. And it, it, it's like, it's it's not that I'm not, a, you know, I'm already enough of a social pariah, mm. you know, with a sex offender. List. Right. Sure. You're, you're, now you're a sex offender, not just a sex offender, but a child sex offender. Right. And, and now I have to, you know, so now... I, I don't. I don't want to be a parasite. I just want to work when I get out. You know. I think you're going to work holding a sign on the side of the road that says uh, "We'll work for change." I can't. I mean, at this point, if with this, uh, if if this thing is described the way you're talking about, I can't imagine what you can do. Can you undo this debarment I, thing? I'm fighting it right now because um, they. What it comes right down to is, I mean, it finally came down to a single paragraph in their answer that basically says that. Uh, uh, it, it, Hold on, it, I, I can't quote it. I've only got about 30 well, seconds here. And then, it is the act of wrongdoing that is relevant to the protection of the federal interest and which indicates a lack of business integrity or business honesty. Matt, what do you want people to do about it? I, I, I What I would like to do is I'd like anyone that has any information out there to pass it on to me. and Or if anybody knows an attorney that knows anything about this, I'd like to know their you know, get their contact information. If I could, I'd like to give you a, an email address. Uh, they can send information. They can send whatever their contact is to me at marketfreetalklive.com. Uh, uh -huh. Matt, I really appreciate it. It's marketfreetalklive.com. Okay. Great. Thank you. Mirror, mirror on the wall. How did I become so fat? If you're a woman over 40 and you're having trouble losing extra weight, please call the Amberin Hotline now at 1-800-959-4261. After 40, your body changes, and so should your weight loss strategy. At Amberin, we specialize in breakthrough solutions specifically tailored to women over 40, including hormonal balance, relief from menopausal symptoms like hot flashes. And you can lose pounds of stubborn extra weight in just weeks with Amberin Weight Loss. Right now, through this special radio offer, you can get a 100% risk-free trial. Just call 1-800-959-4261 now. So if you're a woman over 40 and you're tired of looking in the mirror and not liking what you see, call the Amberin Hotline today. Hurry. This limited-time 100% risk-free offer won't last forever. Call 1-800-959-4261. That's 1-800-959-4261. Again, 1-800-959-4261. The experts at Web.com want to build your business a successful website for free, just like we did for these current Web.com customers. We've used and, and looked at other website designers, but there's nobody better than Web.com. Web.com can build your website in as little as seven days free. Plus, we'll promote it on all the major search engines like Google, Yahoo, and Bing. If after 30 days you're happy, we'll continue to provide promotion, hosting, support, and maintenance, all for one low monthly fee. If not, cancel and pay nothing. If you're in business today and you don't have a web presence, you won't be taken seriously. Call right now and you'll also get a free .com or .net domain name for your new website powered by VeriSign, the world's leading domain name provider. Call 800-297-0154. That's 800-297-0154. No upfront charge for site build, after which ongoing fees apply. Rights to site are relinquished when canceled. Domain included during active service, after which fees apply. That's 800-297-0154. Hi, I'm Derek J. I don't want a politician to represent me. To me, government is the idea that one group of people can coerce everyone to comply with an edict or face increasing punishments up to and including death. 
despite perhaps the most noble of intentions, the best government services are a far cry from what could be provided for by voluntary interactions. Besides, the people who call themselves the government wage wars and put peaceful people in jail for crimes involving no victims. If Starbucks used some of its money to drop bombs, I wouldn't shop there. So why would I support the American empire? The empire does not require my consent. Derek J's Victimless Crime Spree. Watch it for free and order the Director's Cut DVD at VictimlessCrimeSpree.com. That's VictimlessCrimeSpree.com. So you've heard all three hours of the latest episode of Free Talk Live, and you're still hungry for liberty-oriented audio content? Did you know that we have another 24-7 audio stream at LRN.FM? The Liberty Radio Network airs the latest episodes of some of the best liberty-oriented podcasts on the internet around the clock. In addition to recorded content, you'll also hear live shows like Free Talk Live, originating from our Keene, New Hampshire studio. So listen anytime at LRN.FM. That's LRN.FM. Are you tired of governments murdering people around the world? Stop using their money. There is an alternative. Bitcoin is a stateless, free market, non-political currency. Bitcoin cannot be inflated or controlled by any government. By using their money, you're helping the state. Stop doing it. You have an incredible alternative available now. Learn it. Use it. Spread it. Get started with Bitcoin at WeUseCoins.com. That's WeUseCoins.com. You can interact with other LRN listeners in our message board at forum.lrn.fm. That's forum.lrn.fm. Free Talk Live, 855-450 free. That's 855-450-3733. You can call in and talk about whatever's on your mind. It's Mark with you. Danica. And Johnson. We are live seven nights a week on Free Talk Live. Uh, if you can believe that, we do it from 7 p to 10 p Eastern time. And it doesn't Honestly, it doesn't matter if you're, if you're listening to this show, say, um, delayed broadcast, and we're not live at the time you're listening on your radio station. You can call in from 7 to 10 and bring up whatever it is you want to bring up and then hear yourself on the radio later. Or um, if you just want to go get the archive from freetalklive.com, the last seven days were the shows right there for you to go and listen to and download and do whatever you want. Get, get, get your call, cut it up, put it on YouTube for people. I don't know. It's up to you. Free Talk Live. 855-450 free. Um, if you want to reach people about the ideas of liberty, do it from the back of your car with stickers from libertystickers.com. You can reach thousands of people. It, depending on how much you drive, it could be that thousand a month, thousands a week, honestly. Where do you drive and how often do you drive? With a bumper sticker, you can let them know um, what it is your thinking. You know, people really like to read bumper stickers, and especially if you've got some that uh, are attention grabbing, like they are from libertystickers.com. Uh, go check them out. There's a wide selection of witty, poignant, pithy, and downright bombastic liberty oriented messages at libertystickers.com. It's libertystickers.com. We've been talking about a couple of things here. First off, the first ever prosecutor convicted of uh, wrongful conviction. And the second is this uh, video from the Colbert Report about Free Keen. And we got James in Arizona calling in about it. James, you're on Free Talk Live. What's on your mind? Being a Comedy Central, hey, Johnson, can't you take a joke? After all, you are one. And speaking of lying, last time I spoke to you on Free Talk Live, uh, several months ago, you had this loser of his religion, Brett Fernoy who called a, a hero of mine racist, and he called Rush Limbaugh and Sean Hannity racist. But I'm thinking, well, the three of them often have men of color co-host or guest host their programs. But that doesn't matter to Brett Vernoy. Uh, people like it you, It doesn't Mark, matter to me if Brett's not who, on the show. Yeah, no, I just wanted to answer that, because I offer Johnson 100,000... No, I'm speaking off the top, speaking from the cuff, Johnson. And that's really? why it doesn't I sound like it. Sounds like you're reading your delivery is terrible. Oh, yeah, I know. And so are you as a human being. But oh. I offered your audience $100,000. <laughs> 
Zing, I'm reading that. Zinger. I offered your audience $100,000 to have anything, any of those. Three, uh, Dennis Prager said that was racist. Uh, I'm yet to hear from any of your loser audience. Just like Why Mark. Do you mumble so much. Things, I'm not mumbling. But I don't like any of you, especially you. So why do you if call would, in all the I time? A, you don't have anything better to do it. with your life? Why don't That's you ever pathetic, ask anybody dude. else that question? Why don't you ever ask anybody else that question? What do you do with your life, Whit? What do you do with your life? Don't call I'm me. I'm curious. Whit, what do you do Whit, with Whit, your Whit, life? What do you do that's useful? Fat boy, why don't you ever ask other people those questions? <laughs> I just call them to. Because you're the one who's so negative, yet you're spending all your time calling a show with people you don't like. You losers. Oh, we're what losers. Wait, say about you wait losers, a minute. What are we doing Tom? right now? We're actually and doing something with our lives that's productive and, you know, like actually uh, like working are. a job. But no. what are you doing? You're calling into a radio show you don't like. That's how you spend your time, dude. And you're calling no, us losers? Is, well, really? Really? That boy, really? I'll answer the question. You three and the rest of the people in the dope den that you're in right now are hugely destructive to the liberty movement. That I have always been a member of. You guys are oh you God. guys are hugely destructive. But and racism is them. really conducive to it, right? Hatred right, and bigotry, like that's Prager, what's conducive. Racist. National Dennis socialism. Brett Fanoit called Dennis Prager a racist. If he called him that to me in, in my presence, I'd deck the freaking skinny white boy. So, he would never call anybody a racist ever again, James. like the fat boy you are. James, Johnson. Do you consider Gee, nobody can win with you. Boy. You're either a skinny white boy or a fat white boy. What are you going to do? do you uh, think no, that... you are a fat boy. And there's nothing wrong with that. Do you think that... Uh, you know what people know about what you look boy. like? Let nothing. Let me ask a question here, please. Because you're nobody. Do, what do you think that... Uh, do you think Rush Limbaugh and Sean Hannity are part of the Liberty Movement? No. I don't okay, listen to their shows, but I know they're not racist. Well, I don't know whether they're but racist or not. Noise. I didn't make the claim, you but thank you for the call. 855-450-3733. I just wanted to see how mad I could get him. Well... <laughs> It's not hard. He calls in mad. I know. <laughs> I don't know. So anyway, going on with this uh, video from the Colbert Report on the uh, the free keen antics. And I, I, I really feel this thing is, you know, like it's a lot of Americans get their news from shows like The Daily Show and The Colbert Report, right? And Reddit. And, well, Reddit is... A, a, would probably be a pretty good news source. If you're reading your news, you're not the person I'm worried about. <laughs> okay? I'm talking about vapid 20 and 30-somethings that watch uh, the Colbert Report and, uh, you know, The Daily Show and feel as though they now understand an issue. I'm not saying that these shows don't do a really good job of sticking it, uh, sticking a fine point on the issue sometimes, but sometimes they're really one-sided. Now, maybe that, maybe I, it's the, I only, the only time I think they do a good job is when I agree. Maybe that's it, but that's a problem because they didn't come even close to presenting two sides in this circumstance. They call uh, the, the people of Freaking, of which I, one I am not, a uh, bunch of douchebags and a-holes and whatever it is, jerks and, and a whole variety of things. And you can go see the video at, uh, I've, I've got it at on the Facebook page at facebook.freetalklive.com. But it's actually available at freekeen.com too. You can just look there for it. It's uh, under Hilarious Colbert Rapport Video Lampoon's Free Keen. And it takes all the worst parts of the last Four years? How long have they been doing Robin Hooding? A long time. Yeah, a long time. And they stick it into like three seconds and suggest that this is how uh, the you know the the Robin Hooders deal with the meter maids. And I, I just don't know exactly how you're supposed to if if you want to change your government, how are you supposed to do that? Because I can tell you. I've gone to uh, the city of Keene and tried to get things changed, and they didn't care anything about what I did. Right. So the, the Robin Hooders are taking what they call direct action to do something about parking in Keene. Now, you may or may not agree with their, their methods, but I would suggest that their methods are probably the most effective way to change how things are done in parking in Keene. Parking in Keene runs in the red. It is a program that cannot pay for itself. They walk around putting tickets on people's car, demanding money from them, and they can't make that pay for itself. That only the government could fail at that. 
Um, they'll put a ticket on your car when there's an empty space right next to it. So they're not managing the availability of spaces. They're just handing out tickets. And I find this to be, you know, really inefficient as a way to manage parking. And I don't really know what else they could do to solve this problem. Now, a lot of people have moved here because of the direct action for the Free State Project at freestateproject.org because of this direct action. And I think that's valuable, too. I suggest the Colbert Report doesn't like the liberty movement and they wish to lampoon them be and use their availability. You know, the, the fact that they want to be on TV or whatever it is. I wouldn't have done this um, as a way to just try to disparage libertarians. Democrats tend to be pretty scared of the liberty movement right now because they see that the Republicans are dying off. Social conservatism isn't an issue that's going to uh, carry the day. So they're worried about fiscal conservatism, which is essentially what the liberty movement is. And I, I, I'm calling conspiracy theory. What do you guys think? <laughs> uh, I think that maybe that's partially true, but I think one of the other things that I, I don't know, I, I guess what bothers me about uh, the reaction to this uh, Colbert Report video is is not so much the general public. I'm not so much. I'm not so worried about that. What what I'm worried about is the the infighting within the liberty community itself. Um, I, I, there's just so much hand wringing, and one of the things that I've I feel like I was more concerned about image before, and the more I've experienced of of hand wringing and every uh, every little bit of activism being criticized uh, by certain folks. And Mark, you're probably guilty of this too. You know, of being one of the the criticizers. I've that, criticized people in the past. You know, I'm not criticizing this. I but I've got to say, when I saw this video, I felt um, I felt victimized, and I felt like I didn't. You know, I I, I felt like. I wish these people with whom I'm associated would not make me look this way. See, and I, I've gotten, I guess I'm, I'm to the point of where I feel like that feeling or whatever is, is nonsense. I've gotten more exposure to finding more people who are seeing through the, the nonsense and the lies that I'm really starting to get, like let's, Ian's right about this hand wringing. Let's talk about this. 855-450-3733. Free Talk Live. 855-450-free. Ross Ulbricht was arrested by the FBI in 2013 and charged with victimless crimes in relation to allegedly operating the Bitcoin-based Silk Road black market. He has been in a prison cell awaiting trial ever since. If he did it, he's a hero for making the black market a safer place. If he did not, he's a man wrongfully accused. Either way, if you love freedom and want to end the war on drugs, Ross and his family need your support. You can learn more and help fund his defense at FreeRoss.org. That's FreeRoss.org. DVD, books, music, instruments, periodicals, computers, software, electronics, photo, cell phone, office products, home and garden, bed and bath, furniture, kitchen, pet supplies, automotive, hardware, apparel, shoes, jewelry, grocery, healthcare, sports and outdoors, toys, games, used and more. It's a department store at your fingertips. Shop.freetalklive.com. Get all your shopping done, get a great deal, and a portion of your purchase goes to benefit Free Talk Live when you enter Amazon via shop.freetalklive.com. Liberty activists around the country are starting to realize politics alone won't set us free. So what will? At Liberty on the Rocks, we believe the answer starts with living your principles, spreading ideas, and connecting with those around you. By starting a Liberty on the Rocks network, you can make a difference by uniting libertarian thinkers. Find out how much fun it is to build your local network from the ground up. Visit libertyontherocks.org today to get started. DVD, books, music, instruments, periodicals, computers, software, electronics, photo, cell phone, office products, home and garden, bed and bath, furniture, kitchen, pet supplies, automotive, hardware, apparel, shoes, jewelry, grocery, healthcare, sports and outdoors, toys, games, used and more. It's a department store at your fingertips. Shop.freetalklive.com. Get all your shopping done, get a great deal, and a portion of your purchase goes to benefit Free Talk Live when you enter Amazon via shop.freetalklive.com. You're listening to the live edition of Free Talk Live. Hour number two is next after the news here on the Liberty Radio Network at LRN.FM. 
From Kane in the Shire, the Liberty Media capital of the world, this is Daryl W. Perry, host of FPP Radio News for Thursday, November 20th, 2014. Silver is trading at $16.16 per ounce. Gold is valued at $1,190 per ounce. And according to BitcoinAverage.com, the average price of Bitcoin is $358. Antiwar.com reports the struggle with people who have gone to Syria to join the Islamic State is not so much the ones you know about, it's the ones you don't know about. That was the message in a briefing by FBI Director James Comey. Comey reiterated that the U.S. has around a dozen American, the Islamic State members, that we have a pretty good handle on, but conceded that there were potentially many more that they don't know about. How many? It's not clear, but Comey says about 150 Americans who have have gone to Syria in recent months are under surveillance just in case. That doubtless includes innocent people, but even surveilling everyone they know went to Syria cannot be all-encompassing, as many Western jihadists have simply traveled to Turkey and then snuck into Syria from there. The Islamic State has recruited massive numbers of foreign fighters, particularly Westerners, and while Comey claimed that he was being light on the details because, quote, I don't want them to know too much about what we know, end quote, the reality is that various intelligence agencies across the West don't have nearly the level of insight they claim. FPP Radio News is brought to you by Roberts and Roberts Brokerage. For over 35 years, Roberts and Roberts has been a trusted source for buying and selling your investment grade precious metals. They now take Bitcoin for purchasing precious metals so you can turn your profits into a long-term investment. Call Roberts and Roberts today for knowledgeable advice on investing. 800-874-9760. UPI reports the Utah State Legislature approved a bill Wednesday allowing the state to execute death row inmates via firing squad if the approved lethal injection drugs are unavailable. Because the European companies that developed the deadly cocktail oppose the death penalty, they have stopped fulfilling orders from the United States. Republican State Rep Paul Ray told KSL, This bill deals with how we, for lack of a better word, execute the death penalty. He insisted the bill is merely a backup, adding, Hopefully, we never have to use it. Mark Wheatley, a Democrat who voted against the measure, countered by saying, we're going backwards here in Utah when we should be making progress. This is not a proactive approach, this is reactionary. We are not proposing real solutions, we are hiding behind outdated and ineffective policies. Although the Utah legislature voted to suspend the firing squad in 2003, it was used in 2010 to execute Ronnie Lee Gardner, who was sentenced before the suspension. You can support FPP Radio by shopping online. Whether you're looking for precious metals, bitcoins, or books, you'll find that and more at shop.fppradio.com. Every purchase you make from one of my affiliates at shop.fppradio.com helps fund FPP Radio. That's shop.fppradio.com. Reuters reports a federal judge struck down Montana's ban on same-sex marriage as unconstitutional on Wednesday. Montana is set to become the 34th state where same-sex marriage is legal. South Carolina is then due to become the 35th state today unless the Supreme Court agrees to a long-shot plea from the state and blocks it. In Great Falls, Montana, U.S. District Judge Brian Morris overturned a 2004 amendment to the state's constitution prohibiting same-sex marriage in response to a lawsuit brought by the ACLU of Montana. The Montana ruling was expected because the state is within the jurisdiction of the 9th U.S. Circuit Court of Appeals, which has already struck down similar bans in Nevada and Idaho. Morris wrote in his 18-page ruling, The time has come for Montana to follow other states within the 9th Circuit and recognize that laws that ban same-sex marriage violate the constitutional right of same-sex couples to equal protection of laws. The judge barred Montana from enforcing its ban and said it must immediately recognize same-sex marriages from other states. The decision marks the latest in a series of court victories by same-sex rights advocates over the past year, although a Cincinnati-based federal appeals court on November 6th became the first to uphold same-sex marriage bans. That decision by the 6th U.S. Circuit Court of Appeals backing four states' bans created a split within the courts, increasing the chance that the U.S. Supreme Court will rule once and for all on whether states can ban same-sex marriage. This has been FPP Radio News, online at fppradio.com.
According to a report released Monday, Americans currently lead the world in compressing big sandwiches into sufficiently biteable sizes, outranking countries such as Germany, Slovenia, and Ukraine in their sheer capacity to squeeze BLTs, meatball subs, and grinders into shapes that will easily and efficiently fit into their open mouths. Researchers pointed out that in series after series of tests, Americans consistently topped international rankings by implementing over 800 pounds per square inch of compressive force on sandwich categories as diverse as banh mi, croque monsieurs, or gyros, rarely hesitating for more than a moment before diving in and pushing the bread together and wedging it into their mouths. Even in the cases in which Americans failed to sufficiently compress a sandwich and say, dropped a stray piece of bacon or avocado, they still led the pack on quickly scooping up this topping with their hands and eating it, sometimes even inventively doing so with a stray potato chip or french fry. This is the Onion News Network. Free Talk Live, 855-450 free. That's 855-450-3733. You can call in and talk about whatever is on your mind. This live edition of Free Talk Live with Mark, Danica, and Johnson. 855-450 free. You can go to archives.freetalklive.com. We have uh, episodes of Free Talk Live going back for many, many years there. And you can get them for free. It's all at archives.freetalklive.com. I know the other talk show hosts want you to pay for old episodes. We don't do that. We just give them to you. Archives.freetalklive.com. And Free Talk Live is about your calls. Let's go straight to Michael Dean, the NSA of the Liberty Movement. Michael, you there? Oh, you say it like you're sighing when you say my name, Mark. <laughs> <laughs> I just know there's nothing. I'm not going to get away with it. Whatever it is, I'm not going to get away with it because Michael Dean is always watching. You didn't do anything. I'm I'm agreeing with you that, uh, yeah, the video, the Colbert thing is kind of embarrassing, but I don't know. I don't think you should be personally embarrassed. It's not you. And liberty is not a collective movement. It's individuals. Nope. But here's the thing. I would say I would recommend to anybody when the mainstream media comes out and points a camera at you, run. They they always find the equivalent of find the equivalent or edit the equivalent of, you know, covering the tornado and finding the fat drunk redneck in the wife beater who's saying, <laughs> "Praise Jesus, my toilet's still here." You know? And well, that was uh Chris Cantwell in this case, but you know what? And wait a second. probably wait, go so, ahead. So there was this New York Times article that came out. I can't remember. Maybe it's been a year, maybe it's been 6 months. Uh, you know, timelines they're not my my thing. And it was disparaging as all get out to the liberty movement here in uh, in New Hampshire, saying that uh, I can't I can't quote any of it, but it wasn't good. It was the, it was a columnist that wrote it, and what we saw from it were signups, lots yeah. of signups to right, the Free State right. Project. Yeah, well, the the six hundred pound gorilla in the movie with this uh, in this in this Cobert report piece that people aren't noticing, and it's bizarre to me that no one's noticing it. Cantwell muzzle sweeps himself, the camera, and downtown Keene. I didn't that notice is, it. Yeah, he, it's he muzzle, Yeah, he, what, did he muzzle sweep himself with a holstered weapon? Yeah. Yeah, it was holstered. But he's, but he's handling it and, uh, and with, with a snub nose. First of all, basic rules of gun safety. There's four of them, and one of them is don't point a gun at anything you're not willing to destroy. That is non-negotiable. And anybody who says, oh, the, you're just nitpicking, you're insane, because that is safe gun handling. It's one of the most important aspects of what you can do <laughs> in Liberty or to uh, if you're ma jumping in front of the camera like a deer in front of the headlights to be the face of Liberty. I agree you know, with you, you but I mean, he didn't. Camera, it wasn't like he was cavalierly sweeping, you know, the cameraman and himself. He was putting his gun notice. back on his belt and it was a holstered weapon with the snap done. Yeah, he he couldn't pull the trigger if he wanted to, even accidentally. 
You know, and, it, and it, the safety was also probably engaged because, again, There's it was no snapped safety. and holstered. There's no, no safety. safety on oh, no revolver, safety in a revolver. Man. You don't know okay. anything about guns. I don't so you know enough. Be talking about them. That's, I you know, know that's not true. That guns. I don't know anything about guns. I don't know. There's no I don't. safety on a revolver, man. Yeah. There's no safety on a snub nose revolver. Right. Yeah. I, I won't it's, say that I know a lot. I'm not going to say that. But it's unfair to say that I don't know anything. I've fired guns yeah. several times. Well, I've, you're. Uh, I'm not. You know, like I don't. I don't. I, I'll admit that I don't own one. I want to, but. You know, yeah, well, I want you to I want you to take a gun safety class if you're going to own one. And you know, here's the thing: like everybody says in Liberty, well, we don't need the government to like determine who has a gun permit. You know, in in, in, in Liberty, the people who are unsafe with guns would be you know snubbed by the community. But okay, when I do I, it, I, I, when this I do is it, such a reaching critique, though. It really not. is. I, I agree with it. I agree with the gun safety point of that you should never sweep your weapon across people. I absolutely agree. However, it's so reaching to say this about like a holstered weapon. Yes, I, I you know, yes, well, you want to be careful with it. You don't want to sweep people, but but to be fair, it is a holstered hold, weapon. Hold on, hold on. So, so you're you're arguing long and hard in favor of being able to sweep people with a holstered weapon. No, that's not what he's saying. No, not what, really. No, what, he, not, what he's saying is, is he agrees. It's just that he thinks that it's a reach. Now, let me ask you this, Johnson. Uh, you agree with this statement on a scale of one to ten? How bad was uh, Cantwell's uh, step across the line here? Maybe like a three. A three. And uh, Michael W. Dean, how far do you think it is? Uh, gun safety, it's a 10, man. Okay, so well, it's a 9. 10 would have been shooting somebody. All right, so on a scale of 1 to 10, you guys have to come between a 9 and a 3. So, so what about the guy, no, what about the know, cop the, who's teaching he, a he gun safety course who shoots himself in the foot? I mean, come yeah, on. Yeah, so Cantwell's acting like a, act like a cop. So basically you're saying, well, cops do it. It's okay in Liberty. No, it's I'm not. not. Okay, I'm, I'm just saying, like, you're just, you're reaching do you have really, really, really hard. Reaching. Well, okay, okay. I don't want to, yes, yes, no, uh-huh, uh-huh. Right. I'm not interested in that argument. you have any other critiques on it, Michael W. Dean? Yeah, I mean, it's nothing new that they come out and point a camera at you. I mean, something my wife and I have in common that we didn't know about until we met was before we met each other, we were both at punk rock shows where local news showed up because punk rock was a new phenomena, pointed a camera at us. We both separately, you know, not even years away from meeting each other, gave really eloquent speeches about rebellion and anarchy and youth and dissatisfaction and do it yourself. And in both cases, the local news took, you know, we gave five or 10 minute interviews and the local news always used the one clip where you do a brain fart and sound stupid. Yeah, of course. They do it every time, man. So, uh you know, if you want to spread a movement, make your own media. Don't go try to jump onto the other media because the other media is not going to treat you well ever. Yeah, I don't think that they right. were treated well here. I guess what it re- remains to be seen. The reason the reason I'm not going to get bent out of shape on this is because I have seen a year's worth of this stuff up to this point. And what I do see is, is that usually, yes, the signups increase when the bad news stories come out. I don't like them. And the difference is, if you boil it all down, and it's taken me years to figure this out, if you boil it all down, Ian's goal is to get more signers. That's his only goal. My goal is to live here with these people that you're making (laughs) angry all the time. So his goal is quantity over quality. Your goal is quality over quantity. Oh, I don't know about quality. Uh, I I really don't know the answer to that. I don't know how to get the good activists. I think that the that. His his goal of getting people to move and then the good ones stick around and uh, the the great well, ones Cantwell's get better. Leaving right, Cantwell's leaving. No, isn't he? no. Cantwell is not no. leaving New Hampshire. Okay. but he did manage to trick people into believing that. Okay, yeah. Well, I saw the thing where he tricked people in, and he's a good writer and he's a funny and he can you know he can do a decent paragraph and parody. That thing was funny. I bought it for about halfway through it, and then I was like, okay, this. But even before I got to the naked picture, but um, it's I not completely naked. It was, I thought it was based on something real. I thought he was leaving the house to go like la, solve solve mysteries in a van with one of the cop block guys isn't it uh what, what uh stop free keen dot info or something yeah. Is site? yeah yeah, yeah. So. i thought he was going on the road like not paying couldn't pay rent and was going on the road with uh, <laughs> no Pete no that story something. it's uh, i mean i don't know i don't want to get into details about this well, but it's actually I, I would say it's one of the uh more uh responsible and least aggressive thing like the, the reasons why Cantwell are doing this are so right it's amazing but okay you know I, I just you know there's it's details that are like he's doing a very good thing by doing what he's doing essentially by doing by leaving town or he's not leaving, leaving town house? though but by leaving this house yeah okay I don't know what that means 
the yes, part I trust. I, it, it does sound as though it's cryptic for a reason. I trust yeah. you more than I trust your gun safety uh, <laughs> analysis. I'm not my gun safety analysis. I'm just. I, well, it's not it's the gun safety. No, it's not the gun safety that I think is the. I mean, like. I, my problem is with the critique. I absolutely agree with you. Oh, you shouldn't put not, a holstered you know weapon on your. You shouldn't try to put a holstered weapon in your belt while you're in a seated position. You know what, though? That's he ridiculous. He, but he he does it repeatedly in the video where he shoots the American flag. He muzzle sweeps his thigh and his foot. Right. And that's a loaded gun that you know warm for me and fire. I mean, it's it's he's between him firing two shots. I guess muzzle sweeping yourself isn't a violation of the aggression, <laughs> the aggression well, principle. It's, yeah, not it's your it's your the rule. <laughs> the rule of gun safety is don't ever point a gun at right. anything you're not willing to destroy. So I guess Cantwell is willing to destroy himself and down certainly with alcohol on the past and a, and a, <laughs> yeah. camera, and a cameraman from uh, the Cabaret Report. All you have to do is take a look at uh, his online stuff, and uh, I'd say you come to that same conclusion. Michael W. Dean, <laughs> thank you for the call. Eight five five four five. He certainly appeared to be destroying himself behind that uh, V mask. Three seven three three. Oh my! What, I cannot unsee that. Eight fifty five four fifty free. Free talk live. Have you thought about owning gold? There are lots of reasons to own precious metals. A hedge against inflation. When the dollar tanks, metals go up. A barter currency. You can disempower the Fed by using real money. And no one knows the future. In an economic collapse, metals are likely to be a currency. Do as I've done for years. Buy your gold and silver and precious metals from Midas Resources through gold.freetalklive.com. That's gold.freetalklive.com. Khalid lives in Gaza. He makes his living as a taxi driver. The engine in his old beater blew up. Now, he makes good money driving people in his cab, but he couldn't afford the $1,300 for a new engine. Free Talk Live helped him get a loan for the engine, and he's back on the road. You can help us help more people by getting your coffee through coffee.freetalklive.com. Make a difference. One cup at a time. Get a free pound to try out the subscription. Cancel any time. Coffee.freetalklive.com. Gold isn't for you? Ted Anderson, president of Midas Resources, one of the world's premier gold and precious metal investing firms. I get it. You wouldn't buy gold if you believed that the government is doing a great job, that the Fed will stop handing out trillions of dollars like bailout candy, that Social Security would be there for you. That's not what's happening. You might even pass on gold if the stimulus package wouldn't fuel inflation, or that the dollar wouldn't lose value, or that your retirement would be secure. If all looks rosy to you, then now is not the time to buy gold. For the realists, there have never been more sobering reasons to diversify with gold. Since 2001, the U.S. dollar index has tanked 30% while gold has risen 300%. Right now, savvy investors are adding gold to their portfolios. You should too. Find out what they know. Call us and I'll send you 10 reasons why gold will do very well, free. 800-686-2237. 800-686-2237. That's 800-686-2237. Free Talk Live. This was the quote from the DEA's paperwork. Only products that were primarily intended or designed for use in injecting, ingesting, inhaling, or otherwise introducing marijuana and injecting other controlled substances marijuana? into the, the human hell body. Injects marijuana. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> That's how out of touch these people are. They're trying to make it look like marijuana users are strung Injecting out things. heroin junkies. <laughs> right. And it's just not true. No. Look, if you were to ever even try to put <laughs> plant material <laughs> in a syringe and inject that into your veins. It's going to go poorly for it's you. It's going to work <laughs> once. <laughs> You're going to get high one last time if you even, <laughs> if you even make it to that point. Yeah. That's I mean, not a good idea. Never no. in the history of marijuana consumption has anyone ever injected it into their veins. Yeah. Kids don't try that at home. Free Talk Live, seven nights a week from 7 to 10 Eastern, live on the Liberty Radio Network at LRN.FM. The three most important things you can do for Free Talk Live are, one, share one episode a week on Facebook or in some other social networking site. Two, Buy the things you buy online through shop.freetalklive.com. Three, give five bucks a month to the AMP program. It's my firm belief that Free Talk Live's AMP program is the best use of your charitable dollar among liberty-oriented organizations. Support all the organizations you love. But make sure you give five bucks a month to AMP at amp.freetalklive.com. Shiny badges on your jacket. Shiny badges. 
This is Davi Barker from ShinyBadges.com, and I just want to personally apologize for airing a jingle week after week, month after month, that turned out to be such an infectious brain worm. So to make it up to you, I'm offering a free gift. The next time you make a purchase at ShinyBadges.com, write WORMS in the transaction comments, and I'll send you something weird. If you enjoy LRN.FM, please contribute to your favorite shows via their websites and become an amplifier at amp.lrn.fm. That's amp.lrn.fm. Free Talk Live, 855-453. That's 855-450-3733. We have been all over the airwaves tonight uh, talking about this. Well, I guess this uh, video that's come out from the Colbert Report, you can go find it at freekeen.com or you can go to our Facebook page at facebook.freetalklive.com and uh, check it out. It's about a seven-minute video, and they make fun of the Free Keener folks uh, doing their Robin Hooding, which is plugging parking meters for people, and call them a-holes and douchebags and a variety of things that they've uh, they've said. And to prove exactly how much of a douchebag uh, we here on Free Talk Live are, we're going to give you a free pound of coffee. You can go to <laughs> coffee.freetalklive.com and sign up. It's a subscription program. Yes, they do sell coffee indeed. That's what they do there. They will give you a free pound of coffee so you can try it out. It's shade grown, 100% organic, top 1% grade Arabica beans. And you can cancel the subscription anytime. You can get your free, ba- free, free pound and say, I'm not interested. For whatever reason, just cancel and that's it. Now, you pay the shipping on the pound, but the pound's free. But if you continue to get your coffee there, and you probably drink coffee every day, most people do, at least here in the United States, and if you do um, get your coffee there, you'll be helping us to help people around the world because Buzzbox, that's the company through which we do this, um, they give us some of the proceeds back so that we can... Give microloans to people through Kiva.org, and we've given lots of microloans to people, and we're able to help them do all kinds of different things. Give them a hand up out of poverty, because human freedom's great, but it really doesn't matter if you can't eat. So coffee.freetalklive.com. Go check it out and get your free pound. Coffee.freetalklive.com. So... Johnson, this video, it's certainly stirred everything up. It sure has. There's lots of people. I've, as I understand it, there was a death threat on the uh, the Free Keen page. Oh, wow. And uh, lots of people believe that the Free Keeners, that this, you know, this, this proves that the Free Keeners don't really care about moving the right people here to New Hampshire. Well, certainly if we're trying to move people that make death threats here. <laughs> I don't want to move them here. Oh, yeah. Wait, that's probably not coming from people that are, you know, quality people trying to move here. That's probably coming from one of the locals who are sometimes class acts. So, I don't know. I do, you know, since Cantwell was brought up in the last uh, segment, you know, about uh, talking about this, I'd like to read something that he wrote because I think he, he made a very, very good point um, on this, on um, one of the many threads on Facebook that were spawned by this. And, uh, you know, it was talking about um, basically one of the critiques is, you know, how ah, Free Keen's been chasing around the meter readers, which is really not accurate. It's not it's not true. But what uh, do you mean? Well, the, the, one of the critiques is that the Robin Hooders are harassing and chasing around these government employees. And really that happened. Well, harassing is a legal term. Right. And they're not doing that right. because harassing includes the term threatening. But they're not even being, for the most part, hassling, uh, annoying and hassling. They're not really even doing that. Um, for the most part, that's not the that's it's not the intention. It's certainly been done, though. It's certainly been done. You know, they they certainly have pulled a lot of video from something that happened what like two three years ago. That was the one time that Cantwell went out. Yeah, <laughs> the one time Cantwell. that he went out, they reused that video over and over and over again, just like they used the video of Derek talking to the the uh, little old lady crossing guard um, who freaks out because he happens to have a camera on her from forty feet away, and so she has to run up and try and smack it out of his hand because she's such a sweet, kind old little lady who's you know being harassed by these horrible activists. You know, when really it was her overreaction and her weird problem. 
So Cantwell goes on to say, he says, uh, being nice to people is great as long as they're nice to you, perhaps even to some extent when they uh, being nice, even when they aren't. But when you have persistently belligerent, dishonest, and a violent enemy, tactics must evolve. From the sidelines, it's easy to spout off at the mouth. We all do it, and I don't really mind it. But the boots on the ground, the people in the middle of the action, behave the way they do because they are the ones in the action, and they know best how to handle the situation. Or at least they are the ones willing to handle the situation. Sure. The evidence is pretty plain to see. The people who complain about activism aren't activists, at least not in any visible way. If you prefer to be behind the scenes, if you think you can do more good by making a point, a print magazine for the Free State Project Incorporated, but nobody here is going to tell you not to. Heck, we're not even going to tell you how to improve it. Truth is, we're probably never even going to read it. Oh, they'll tell you how to uh, improve it. Certainly, if you put a, for instance, a tree that looks like a penis in it, they will make a, they'll have a fit. <laughs> oh, that will be talked about for years. Yeah. And- but I'll tell you exactly how to Let me finish that. this comment and then address that. But when you need somebody to improve it, uh, because nobody is listening to you, just let us know. We've still got your back. I just think it's really sad that you don't return the favor. Now, uh, that... Uh, so, for example, the the penis tree had exactly the effect that I wanted it to have, which was to get eyeballs on it. That was that was uh, keen style activism, I guess. On you know, on a, uh, a in design a, project, on a that design you did. project. Sure, it was guerrilla marketing. It, the, my, the problem that I wanted to solve was um, there aren't eyes on this map, and uh, I want people to take a look at it. And so that's what I did, and it worked amazingly well. You know, it did exactly what it wanted to do. Now. Um, there the the names that I thought were attached to this, first of all, to this thing, were names that are of, of people who I thought could take this joke, and especially with the Free State Project in general, with most of the activists, these are people who, mo- in the most cases, like, why would you have a problem with a cartoon? You know, like, this is a cartoon. It was hidden so well that it would take people, like, 10 minutes to find it in general, even when they knew it was there. It was done in a way that was so subtle that it was like, okay, why are you going to have a problem with this? I would, I was thinking, this is a liberty community, and therefore conflating libertine. And so then what, you know... You know, some there are just there were some folks that uh, that you know had a problem with it, and so yeah. So there are going to be people that are going to tell you uh, what's wrong with well, what you've done. Well, sure. I think that there's one thing's for certain is is that uh, liberty activists here have a lot of critiques for other people and their types of activism. But how else do you find out what's good and what works? Well, you had brought up a good point because I remember when you were actually talking on Free Talk Live about this. This was years ago. You said, okay, the only reason that people knew what it was. They'd already know what it looks like. No, and you know, like you said, you hit it perfectly well enough so that no one knew what it what it was unless they'd already know right. what it looked I like. I had prior. the family minded people, you know, the family minded activists or whatever the family is that that was in my mind when I did this. It was hidden from child's eyes by being so obscure as to not be understandable unless you knew what you were looking for. Well, but you know, the the thing I guess that my only problem with that with I guess the only apology that I would make for that is that for the people who can't take a joke, uh, being offended and the people who were organizing at the time, their names being attached to that. Unfortunately, I didn't think that there were going to be people that really couldn't take a joke on this. I just, it was my own short sightedness. I really didn't think that there were going to be a bunch of libertarians that were going to be outraged by a cartoon thing that's hard to find takes 10 minutes and I, I didn't really think that the Howard Ridge was going to be there and what happened was is it was manufactured by one person who had a beef with me but um it, yeah I mean it, well, sure certainly there's going to be you know especially because this is a group where there are just so many different factions if factions will just find reasons to have problems with one another yeah I I used to get really bent out of shape about the this whole thing, you know, like the outside the system activism or whatever it was. I don't anymore, um, just because I've seen that, eh, it happens, it blows over, everything's fine. Yeah, I'm certainly, the hand wringing, you know, it's crazy. It's There's so much of it, I want to talk more to it. 855-450-3733. 
Are you ready to surrender your right to buy body armor? No joke. Congress is now trying to outlaw civilian body armor. And if House Bill H.R. 5344 becomes law, you can kiss your right to protect yourself against rifle bullets goodbye. Don't put off your body armor purchase any longer. Go now to InfidelBodyArmor.com. Thousands of military veterans trust their lives to Infidel Body Armor. You should too. Spelled I-N-F-I-D-E-L. Infidel Body Armor. Just won't quit. Genesis is defined as an origin, creation, or the beginning. Genesis Communications Network began with the mission of providing you with the kind of compelling content you're listening to now. And at GCNlive.com, you'll find a free archive of our nation's history, narrated by GCN hosts. Explore, share, and pass down to future generations. GCN is the future of talk radio, but we should always strive to learn from our past. Together, we are GCNlive.com. GCN. This is a national health care alert from the Health Hotline. If you, a family member, or a loved one suffers from knee pain and have Medicare as your primary insurance, we've got great news. You could qualify for a pain-relieving knee brace at little or no cost to you. Get free delivery, and all the paperwork is handled by our accredited suppliers at no charge to you. So if you're on Medicare and have knee pain, don't wait. You may qualify to immediately receive a pain-relieving knee brace at little or no cost. Friendly agents are standing by 24 7 to help you we also have other pain relieving braces too for your shoulder ankle or back you may be eligible to get these items and more at little or no out-of-pocket cost our friendly representatives are standing by now to help you so please call now 800-301-2963 800-301-2963 800-301-2963 800-301-2963 Ross Ulbricht was arrested by the FBI in 2013 and charged with victimless crimes in relation to allegedly operating the Bitcoin-based Silk Road black market. He has been in a prison cell awaiting trial ever since. If he did it, he's a hero for making the black market a safer place. If he did not, he's a man wrongfully accused. Either way, if you love freedom and want to end the war on drugs, Ross and his family need your support. You can learn more and help fund his defense at FreeRoss.org. That's FreeRoss.org. You can listen to Free Talk Live on the radio, podcast, satellite, webcam, and our live streams. But did you know you can listen to Free Talk Live from any phone, anywhere? Add this number to your phone, 213-493-0308. It's a long-distance call, so make sure you're familiar with your phone's calling plan. The Listen Lines are airing the latest episode of Free Talk Live 24 hours a day, including our live shows. Call 213-493-0308. That's 213-493-0308. Free Press Publications is an independent, alternative media and publishing company founded in June 2009 with the mission of ensuring a free press for the freedom movement and is committed to spreading the message of peace, freedom, love, and liberty. FPP also gives new authors an avenue for publishing freedom-oriented material. FPP brings you daily news and commentary on the website fpp.cc, as well as a daily five-minute newscast, FPP Radio News, and weekly news, views, and commentary in the FPP Freedom Minute and Peace, Love, Liberty Radio at fppradio.com and the monthly newspaper FPP News at news.fpp.cc. Find FPP online at FPP.cc. That's FPP.cc. As in Creative Commons. You can put the Liberty Radio Network on the air in your area. Visit broadcast.lrn.fm to learn how. Broadcast.lrn.fm. Talk Live, 855 free That's 855-450-3733. You can call in, talk about whatever is on your mind here on this live edition of Free Talk Live with Mark. Danica. And Johnson. 855-450-3733. So we've been talking about this Colbert Report video of the Free Keeners, I guess is what they're calling them or something like that, Free Keen Squad. Something. And the Robin Hooding, which is uh, going around, them going around putting 
uh, coins and meters so people don't have to pay parking tickets here in Keene, New Hampshire. And, you know, I, I guess color me unsurprised that uh, the Colbert Report really wasn't doing anything but a uh, right. <laughs> dishonest uh, uh, slanted piece here. I guess I'm not surprised. I would have liked to have seen some lampooning of the other side in this. Sure, maybe some accurate reporting. <laughs> but there wasn't anything like that. Yeah. Um, the closest thing it becomes, that- it becomes the sad realization becomes that the majority of Americans get their news from the Colbert Report and the Daily Show. I think it's mostly and their the Daily commitment Show, yeah. to honesty is zero. <laughs> well, yeah. I mean, I, there's certainly some things they've done that I think are poignant and right on the the money. But it's those are the things I agree with them on. Um, so you know, anyway. I uh, want to tell you about the Texas Bitcoin Conference. Uh, we're going to be at the Texas Bitcoin Conference. This is the second annual uh, event, and it's going to be at the Moody Theater in downtown Austin, March the 28th and 29th. There's a an event, you know, like an evening event right uh, before that, the 27th. It's going to be loaded with the best and the brightest and the latest uh, of, of uh, Bitcoin speakers and uh, exhibits on Bitcoin, as well as hosting the second million dollar Bitcoin hackathon. And this thing was epic last year. Um, they've even invited the entire Texas legislature to allow them to see firsthand that not enacting complicated regulations encourages innovation and job creation. It's the Texas Bitcoin Conference. It's going to prove that Bitcoin is a source for good. If you're knee deep in Bitcoin or you're just interested, this is the place to be. March 28th and 29th, along, of course, the kickoff event at the, on the 27th. Right now, they're doing a white paper call. So if you've got an idea, you can make that, uh, that can make the community grow. Go ahead and contact them. It's TexasBitcoinConference.com. We're going to be there and I'm excited. It's going to be a lot of, it's going to be a lot of fun. TexasBitcoinConference.com. You know, I want to make a comment about myself here real quick. Just to, just a, a thing that, because I this has been happening for a while and I think it's related to this issue. So because of the one bit of, uh, you know, I guess public activism, if you want to call it that, because I made, I was making the maps for um, the Pork, Pork Fest that one year. Porcupine Freedom the Festival. Porcupine Freedom Festival. And several I, years ago. Several years ago. And I, and I did the, you know, the joke penis that, I, you know, went on the map. The Trinus. So, the Trinus. The Trinus, yes. So, called the Trinus. So a the, lot of people have come to know me for that, right? It's become known as like, oh, John Johnson, the Trinus guy. That's funny, you know. But what's also funny is that's what happens when you are a backseat activist. And I fully admit, I've always been, I've always tried to be behind the scenes. So no one really knows the fact, like some people kind of know that, hey, I had a lot to do with the design work of freetalklive.com and the, you know, the products and the logo and the shirts and stuff like that. But most people don't know that I've done so many of the political campaigns in Manchester, their flyers and signs and uh, stuff. The uh, NH Independence did logos for them, did stuff for um, for uh, NH uh, Common Sense for their stuff, done stuff. I mean, I've been doing graphic design for every freaking activist well, you've group. You've also done you know, the Bitcoin flyer. You've also done the free Keen flyer. Like, you've done so, Bitcoin lots. flyers. I've hundreds just been... and hundreds of hours <laughs> yeah. of basically free activism in many cases uh, yeah. doing design work and uh, you you slide one tiny little green treeness in and uh, that's uh, you're, you're known Because for I've it. been behind the scenes. Designs. You know, it's not, I haven't been trying, you know, I haven't been, you know, running my own graphic design business. I haven't been, uh, you know, I've just been doing like, oh, here it is. You know, like I'm available to do this. This is something I do and you know, it's what I do in my on part time when I you know have the ability to do so, and I've been doing graphic design for people. And I would, in a lot of cases, it's not really free, so I don't want to, I don't want to, you know, put it out there that I've been certainly doing all this cheap. free design. But <laughs> I've certainly been doing it, yeah, for affordably, and I and I have and done some free, free things. Sometimes it is free, yeah, absolutely. So, at any rate, I just I find it funny that these people who are doing all this hand wringing about like oh what these activists are doing they're put you know people these activists are putting themselves out there you know it's yeah, like but wouldn't you say that um i would I personally i would rather have no activism than bad activism so I, like for instance if somebody decides that the best thing they can do for liberty is to smear themselves in peanut butter and uh, run naked down the streets of Keene yelling uh the n-word Okay, like you and I would say, really doesn't have anything to do with freedom. Sure. 
But this, but they believe it does for whatever reason, speech or something, right? And I would advise them, hey, it would be best for you and really, honestly, for everybody if you just didn't go ahead and do that. Sure. So it's a yes or no offer on situation. I'm going to say that there's some activism best left undone. Okay, maybe. I, I can concede to you maybe on that. I'm not going to go <laughs> full, Maybe. Yeah, maybe. I'm not even going to go the full way on that because I, there's some activism that people would say stuff like that, like about the topless activism or the uh, marijuana uh, the 420, or, you know, 420 rallies, yeah. rallies, stuff like that that oh, people are going to have problems with no matter what. They critique all the activism. And they'll critique no it that way. But, I mean, one of the things, especially from, again, inner circles, people who are, you know, already in the Free State Project, critiquing people, you know, critiquing, they critique certain activists and certain people in Keene. And what's ridiculous to me, especially about this, and I don't, I feel weird singling him out, but James Cleveland Come on. I mean, I can see like some of these, uh, some of the other activists who have, you know, big personal, you know, weird images that they're like weird people, you know, they get out there. But like, he's an accountant. You know, it's like, that's what, and now he's running a thrift store. I mean, and this is the guy who these people are cre- critiquing and trying to make into like, oh, he's the mumbling racist mastermind. Like, that's what this Colbert racist? report. Oh, with the yin yang clip. I mean, I don't know. That's maybe the best you didn't we say can it. do with the yin yang is call it racist. <laughs> well, he called it racist because he's like, what's like the free keen people are part of the good, the white part. You know, like it's like you call it racist. So the Colbert report insinuated that by oh, saying because that. he said that it was the white part that was good. You know, like as Isn't though that, that was a racist need? thing to say. Oh. I mean, it is a little I bit missed- of a misunderstanding of uh, the yin yang, but. The yin yang is about good and evil. Well, it is about you that. You know, it is about that. It's also about male and female and life and death. But yeah, the white part is good in the theory of the yin and yang. It's not about something being racist yet. That's what the Colbert tr- report tried to imply because they're racist. Mm-hmm. They're race baiters. But, uh, you know. I just think it's so ridiculous. Like, like some of the activists that, that people are like, oh, the freak king people are all out of their minds. And it's like, really? Really? Some of the people... A lot of people believe that. Yeah, sure. <laughs> a lot of locals believe that. Look, I went, okay, so I'm at my fire department. Uh, I forget about, locals. I'm not really worried about the locals. I know, what I'm worried about is I'm worried... Point. No, 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 no. I'm worried, what I'm talking about right now, not, and I'm not saying don't be worried about the locals at all. What I'm saying is, and I wouldn't be doing Shire Sharing Keen if I didn't think that... You know, some we need some positive goodwill kind of activism out there. Um, you know, Shire I, Sharing Keen is a program where we're helping to feed uh, Shire Sharing Keen dot org. Yeah, yeah twenty two families here in in Keene, New Hampshire, for Thanksgiving. So, what I'm concerned about is is people who are already in the Free State Project and activists who are out there who are just critiquing other activists while they're meanwhile really not doing very much. It does happen. Let's go to James in Wisconsin. James, you're on Free Talk Live. Hey, how you doing? Can you hear me? Yep, gotcha. Yep. Cool, because I was having trouble. Uh, I wasn't sure if you're going to be able to hear me. I'm glad that you. I'm glad that you can, and I uh, love your show. Thanks, guys, for doing what you do. Uh, I wanted to comment on um, all all of this discussion that you guys are having about how you you know you're upset with the attitude of maybe non activists or just people who don't appreciate your particular brand of activism and. Uh, and I just kind of wanted to point out, Mark, uh, I think Mark, right? Mark, is that your one yep. of you? Mark, I am speaker. Mark. Yeah, okay, Mark. So, Mark, you did a really, you had a really good point earlier. Um, there's no other way to find out, like, we're talking about a free society, right? Sure. So there's no other way to find out that your idea sucks than by criticism from other people who don't agree with your particular brand of activism. Hold on for a second, James. I want to talk to you. If you agree, 855-450-FREE, or if you don't. Free Talk Live. It's Lumber Liquidator's third annual Yellow and Black Friday flooring sale. Right now, get incredible end-of-year deals before they're gone. There's no better time to get hardwoods, like Brazilian Koa for an unheard of 40% off, and all bamboo is up to 30% off. Plus, our thickest and best laminates are 25% off our lowest prices, and get 26-month special financing. Even more deals are added daily in our stores. It only happens once a year. Visit LumberLiquidators.com to find a store near you. Majid lives in Nordavin, Armenia, with his wife, kids, and grandkids, all in the same house. They have cows, but to compete against the big ranchers, Majid needed to get a loan for more cattle. 
Free Talk Live helped him get a loan for the cows. He bought them, and now he's very happy with the expansion of his farm. You can help us help more people by getting your coffee through coffee.freetalklive.com. Make a difference, one cup at a time. Get a free pound to try out the subscription. Cancel at any time. Coffee.freetalklive.com. With autumn in the air, it's time to think about getting ready for winter. And it's time to save at HerbalHealer.com. You'll find amazing seasonal savings to prepare you for the fight against cold and flu season. Like Oregacillin to promote lung health. 30 capsules, regularly $34.95, now only $25. HHA Olive Leaf, the natural antiviral, normally $16.95, now 60 capsules are just $12. HHA Elderberry Power, a great flu and virus fighter, regularly $16.95, 60 capsules, now $10. Save on all our homeopathic detoxes. Choose from lungs, kidney, liver, brain, libido, or whole body, normally $26.95, now just $20. Visit HerbalHealer.com and click on the Fall Winter Specials button to save on all our natural cold and flu fighting products. Also explore our Herbal Healer Academy correspondence courses that teach you how to handle your health naturally. HerbalHealer.com, healing the world with nature, one person at a time, since 1988. On Free Talk Live, we're bringing people to the ideas of liberty every day. From wrestling superstars like Glenn Jacobs. You guys really are having an impact, I believe. Like I said, uh, a lot of where I am now is due to listening to Free Talk Live. You changed my mind on some very important issues years ago. To random people tuning in on the radio. I was kind of stuck in the left-right paradigm. I heard your show by chance on a Saturday night. From there, I went on to join the Free State Project and become an amplifier. So, I mean, that's really the reason why I amp is uh, because I know that if it wasn't for you guys being on as many stations as you are, I never would have found the ideas of liberty. Your amp will directly change more lives by getting Free Talk Live in front of people looking for talk radio online and on the air. Find out about giving to our Google AdWords campaign at amp.freetalklive.com. That's amp.freetalklive.com. Did you know that you can listen to and watch Free Talk Live during our live show seven days a week from 7 to 10 p.m. Eastern via our studio cam at cam.freetalklive.com? Not only that, but you can also chat with other listeners at the same time. Do I need to mention that both the studio cam and chat room are totally free? Outside of Free Talk Live's live hours, you won't see a cam feed, but we'll hear audio from the Liberty Radio Network. So listen, watch, and chat all free at cam.freetalklive.com. That's cam.freetalklive.com. I love my magic mud. I drink a lot of coffee. I had stains on my teeth. Then I found my magic mud, and I was told it would remove stains. So I paid attention when I brushed the first time. My magic mud is black tooth powder, and the difference it made in my teeth in one application was noticeable. With four, my teeth were as white as you normal folks out there. Please go to mymagicmud.com and buy a jar. There's 150 applications for 25 bucks. You can use Bitcoin, mymagicmud.com. You can connect with the Liberty Radio Network via our Facebook page at facebook.lrn.fm. That's facebook.lrn.fm. Free Talk Live, 855-450-FREE. That's 855-450-3733. You can call in and talk about what's ever, whatever is on your mind. We uh, have been talking mostly about the video from the Colbert Report that's on the Free Keeners doing their Robin Hooding. And Robin Hooding is feeding parking meters. It's Mark with you. Danica. And Johnson. Your calls are welcome at 855-450-FREE. We were talking to uh, James in Wisconsin, and he says, you know, hey, you got to try things and find out what works and what doesn't work. Is that about right, James? Yeah. So what are your thoughts? Yeah. Well, right. I mean, so I was listening, and maybe, I'm sorry, uh, who is, it's Danica and Mark, and then who's the other guy? Johnson. Jonathan. So I was listening to Jonathan talk, and I guess he, <laughs> Johnson he made with a an mistake. S. Like the company. Well, okay. Yeah, like the last name for a first name. John. Okay, Johnson. I'm sorry. Got it. Johnson. Johnson. Yep. Okay, Johnson. So you were complaining about how maybe you made a mistake or you didn't feel like it was a mistake, but you put some penis in a tree and yeah. then it <laughs> became an issue. And, yep. And and so, yeah, and I mean, you were, you were like upset about it, and that's cool. And you know what? Maybe it was just a dumb idea. I don't know. Maybe 
<laughs> you know, maybe freedom comes with a price, and you got to live with the fact that a bunch of people who you thought were your compatriots really just uh, were disenchanted with your methodology. Sure. Um, and and so and I'm not saying that you shouldn't feel offended either. Like you should feel offended, and then you should offer your counter to their. Uh, that, you know, okay, I, I hear what you're saying. I want to clarify because that's not really the point that I was making, and I, I don't want it to come okay. off that way. So. There, there was, yes, there were specifically two people. It it's really actually comes down to one person who I had that problem with, which you just said, um, because it was a friend of mine, and I lost a friend over it. But that's not why I was bringing that issue up. The reason why I was bringing that issue up is, is the point that I was making is that um, – if you try to be an activist who stays behind the scenes like I was, you know, like I and I do, I, I do a lot of graphic design behind the scenes. I'm not one of these people who's out front trying to get myself in the news, trying to get attention, trying to get more people to know what I'm doing and self promote and get more people to move. I, I'm trying to help others who do that. But in the process, I've been very behind the scenes. I haven't been self promoting in that process. And so what happened was is because. Because I was being so behind the scenes, the one thing I did that got attention, and it got attention because it was controversial and you know could potentially be seen as negative, the one thing that I got a a attention for branded me. And that's what's going to happen if you don't, uh, I guess, you don't do a lot of things and really control your branding is that, and if you're going to be a behind the scenes activist, someone else is going to decide who you are. Oh, yeah, that's really good. That's pretty deep. You know, someone else is going to define, you, you know, what your brand is if you don't control it yourself. Yeah, I think we, I think you're right, James. Appreciate the call that uh, we do have to, um, we do have to, to some extent, see how things work. But what I found over time is that, you know, my opinion on other people's activism, they don't care. And um, ultimately, it seems like. Everything's still moving forward here with the Free State Project. We're still being yeah. successful. We still have uh, more and more legislators getting uh, elected that are freedom oriented, and you know the things that I want. And really, I think that they're going to people be people who watch this clip. I, I think that th folks are not able to interpret how someone is going to watch this and say, "I see through the lies. I see through that what's going on in this clip, and I want to find out more about these people. I want to Google." Free Keen, and I want to, oh, look, Free Keen's got this 101 reasons, what's that? And, like, actually go and look and investigate more, because there are going to be a lot of people who sure. do that. Yeah. I hope people do. Uh, you can go see the uh, the clip at uh, facebook.freetalklive.com and at freekeen.com, actually. It's uh, both those places. It's freekeen.com and facebook.com. Let's go to Jim Jesus, calling in from Las Vegas. Jim, you're on Free Talk Live. How's it going? It's been about, what, seven years since I called into the show? <laughs> I, I'm not keeping a calendar on it. You love me. So I, I do. <laughs> um, I think you guys are taking this way too serious, especially Johnson. Um, you can tell about he's scarred by yeah. this whole thing with the trees. He's, he's fuming. When you're talking about satire, you have to, people do kind of see through the lies. That's the whole point of satire. When people look at The Onion, people look at my card game, for example. I mean, people do see through the humor. They see through the lies. And it's, it's a point of making a message. And, whether, you know, it is true that uh, Colbert did actually kill the Occupy Wall Street movement with his uh, interview with Justin and Ketchup. Um, at the same time, he's actually kind of promoted other uh, ideas as well. Sure. It's, it's, it's pretty clear he's not a fan of this one, though. Well, I think it might be true. I think it might be too big for him to do anything about, though. That's OK. So and this is this is something that I think people have a huge, huge misunderstanding of how this works. He wouldn't have done a huge report on it and given it all this attention if he really didn't like it. I don't but it's a little it's a little secret. It's the fourth wall radio people. If we hear at Free Talk Live really don't like something, you just don't talk about it. I, I wouldn't go That's that That's the worst but. thing that you can do is ignore something. Because, and you know it's true, it's certainly happened where it's like, we're not going to give that any attention because it's not worth our time. But then again, you also got to remember that Colbert is, or Colbert, excuse me, is a um, liberal from what we can tell so far. We're not going to really oh, yeah. know. Until, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. We're not going to, we're not going to really be 100% sure until he gets his uh, late night show. With, He's clear. Let him leaves. 
he's clear when he's done these interviews with Oprah and that sort of thing. This man's a liberal from South Carolina. Um, you know, I mean, it's a little unusual. There's no doubt about it. Now, what are his uh, non-liberal thoughts is what I'd be interested in because there's kind of this regular sort of progressive line. But nobody right. fits into every mold. So I'd be interested what 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 does he believe that doesn't fit into that mold is what I'd be interested in. And, oh, I am too. Yeah. I am too. But uh, I think I think it's really important to kind of see through the uh, satire and think of this as as an opportunity to get some free publicity, which he's given. Oh, yeah, and, lots of it. But you also got to remember that he also really did a really scathing hit piece against Occupy Wall Street, which you would assume that he is very sympathetic to. Indeed. They, absolutely. It's the truth. I, I don't remember seeing I don't think I saw it, but, uh, you know, I was annoyed by Occupy Wall Street in many ways, too. But now that it's over, I thought I think, yeah, I think they did more harm, no more good than they did harm. No, I think he did more harm than he did good for the Occupy Wall Street. I mean, <laughs> if you watch that video, if you look up uh, catch up on Colbert Report, it's really bad. I mean, it, it, I think a lot of people have said that this is that that was the the one moment that really killed the Occupy Wall Street movement. I'll check it out. Thanks for the call. Yeah, me too. That's Jim Jesus, great. appreciate it. 855-450 free. That's 855-450-3733. Let's go to Dalton calling in from Grand Forks, North Dakota. Dalton, you're on Free Talk Live. Hey guys, thanks for having me on. Yeah, sure. What's on um, your mind? No, uh, I was just calling because this is like seriously my second time actually listening to the show. Okay. I you guys liked on Facebook for like quite a while, and just turning through the channels, I listened. Finally, found that you guys are actually you come through on on our radio over here. So yes. It's pretty crazy, and. Um, I don't know. I was just curious. Uh, like, are we? Are you all? Um, how would you say, voluntarist anarchists? Or are you? Are you guys more right leaning libertarians? Well, um, I, first off, I I believe that anarchists are people who uh, wear black and throw Molotov cocktails through store windows. Usually, they're <laughs> European. Um, now. <laughs> What I would say is is that um, if I had the opportunity to talk about it is is that I think that the uh, the ideas of governance have probably not reached their pinnacle in the year 1789. And that uh, we are going to see new and different forms of government as time goes by. Now, it's going to be difficult to evolve because governments are monopolies. Monopolies don't, don't like to give up control. So I think we're going to see something new and different. I think that new and different thing, as time goes by, is going to increase human freedom and that what we're going to see perhaps will be governments that compete against each other for our business. In the same way that cell phone companies govern our behavior through the contracts that we have with them, that we may have contracts with people who provide personal protection from other people and things like that. So it's not that I don't believe in government. It's that I believe that over time it will be uh, detached from land masses. Okay. Yeah. Like, well, that, I guess uh, maybe my fault for poorly phrasing. I was just oh, no. curious. Like, this if, is an obscure. was in agreement that we were, we were <laughs> all wanted to. My, my, my thought process is pretty obscure, and it's going to take a long time to educate people on this. So I appreciate you calling in and asking. No problem at all. Okay. Okay. Um, yeah, no, I just, I mean, I try, and you guys are talking about, you know, um, activism and everything. And I don't know, being in Grand Forks, there's pretty much nil to what goes on for libertarianism anyway. It's, you know, pretty much conservative. You have, know, you, have you looked up the Free State idea. Project? Oh yeah, I have, and I you know have had a uh, great interest in it. But, Hold you know, the line, Dalton. I want to talk to you. Eight five five four five zero three seven three three. Free talk live. Here's a good idea. When you have a legal matter like creating your will or legally setting up a business with a corporation or LLC, you don't necessarily need a law firm. Use LegalZoom.com. At LegalZoom.com, you answer straightforward questions online, and they take care of the rest. They even review your answers for common mistakes and guarantee your satisfaction. Free Talk Live listeners, you'll get 10% off your order by typing in FTL in the referral box at purchase. Don't procrastinate with these important legal documents. LegalZoom.com. 
Free Talk Live has partnered with Amazon, the largest internet retailer. Imagine a department store category, and Amazon has it. Books, electronics, office products, furniture, jewelry, automotive, toys, clothing, sporting goods, and dozens of other categories. Now you can shop and support Free Talk Live by entering Amazon through our website. Go to shop.freetalklive.com, and Amazon will send us a portion of your purchase. You're going to do the shopping anyway, so remember to enter through our site at shop.freetalklive.com. That's shop.freetalklive.com. Majid lives in Nord Devin, Armenia, with his wife, kids, and grandkids, all in the same house. They have cows, but to compete against the big ranchers, Majid needed to get a loan for more cattle. Free Talk Live helped him get a loan for the cows. He bought them, and now he's very happy with the expansion of his farm. You can help us help more people by getting your coffee through coffee.freetalklive.com. Make a difference, one cup at a time. Get a free pound to try out the subscription. Cancel at any time. Coffee.freetalklive.com. The three most important things you can do for Free Talk Live are, one, share one episode a week on Facebook or in some other social networking site. Two, buy the things you buy online through shop.freetalklive.com. Three, give five bucks a month to the AMP program. You likely buy all kinds of things online. Amazon is the largest online retailer. You can get what you need at the same prices with free super saver shipping by going to shop.freetalklive.com. Please do your online shopping at shop.freetalklive.com. You're listening to the live edition of Free Talk Live. Hour number three is next after the news here on the Liberty Radio Network at LRN.FM. This is the Liberty Beat, your daily source for Liberty News and activist updates online at thelibertybeat.com. I'm Brian Hagan with your Liberty Beat for Thursday, November 20th, 2014. Gold closed Wednesday at $1,179, down $15. Silver closed at $16.06, down $0.09. Cents. And Bitcoin is trading around $376.45. Today's Bitcoin price brought to you by ExpressCoin, the fastest and most reliable way to buy Bitcoin. Buy Bitcoin today at ExpressCoin.com. The Liberty Bean is brought to you by Marjorie Wildcraft's Grow Your Own Groceries, homegrown food on every table. That's GrowYourOwnGroceries.org. In the news, White House officials, speaking on condition of anonymity, say President Barack Obama will announce today executive action on immigration that will sidestep Congress while shielding millions from deportation. The Associated Press reports the administration is considering steps that would provide work permits for up to 5 million immigrants now living illegally in the U.S. On Friday, Obama plans to hold a rally in Las Vegas focused on his decision. A veteran of the United States Navy was fired from his job at a hotel after posting pictures to Facebook of Federal Protection Services and Department of Homeland Security vehicles near Ferguson, Missouri. Mark Paffrath says his boss and the head of security at the Drury Hotel admonished him for taking the pictures and fired him. He says he was told he dishonorably served his country during his three years in the military. CNN confirmed that the DHS does have additional units in Ferguson while awaiting the grand jury decision. The Government Accountability Office has released a new report detailing a lack of accountability for federal funds used at federal fusion centers. Fusion centers are run by Department of Homeland Security and operate as information sharing centers for local, state, and federal agencies. The centers have been criticized for violating civil liberties and privacy and wasting taxpayer dollars. The Electronic Frontier Foundation says the report suggested measures aren't necessarily meaningful. Today's edition of the Liberty Bee is made possible by eFoods Direct, redefining the way you think about storable food. They've created a menu of food that is so good, so easy to make, you'll find yourself eating it every day, even though it has a shelf life of up to 25 years. eFoods Direct is offering 10% off to all Liberty Beat listeners. Just go to eFoodsDirect.com slash Liberty Bee or call 800-620-5520 and mention Liberty Bee for your savings today. Support for Liberty Beat comes from The Corey Moore Show, live each Friday night at 10 o'clock Eastern. Liberty-minded, comedy-focused. That's The Corey Moore Show. Listen live at CoreyMooreShow.com. This is The Liberty Beat for Thursday, November 20th, 2014. Check out the website at TheLibertyBeat.com and like us on Facebook at Facebook.com slash TheLibertyBeat. A 56-year-old Houston woman was sentenced to nearly two years in prison for mailing a letter threatening to kill President Obama. Teddy Bear Paradise pled guilty in August after admitting to sending the letter. She said she was traveling to Washington, D.C. to kill Obama or would hire people to assassinate him. 
On Tuesday, a judge's ruling was overturned regarding whether small drone aircraft fall under the regulation of the Federal Aviation Administration. The National Transportation Safety Board reviewed the appeal from the FAA and found that the agency has the authority to fine operators of small drone aircraft. The appeal was related to an aerial photographer who was fined $10,000 for operating his drone in a reckless manner on the University of Virginia campus in 2011. The ruling does not address the legality of commercial drone operation. To mark what would have been the 30th birthday of Brittany Maynard, a Right to Die advocacy group has issued new video footage of the terminally ill woman. In the video, recorded in August, Maynard calls on more states to enact legislation allowing the terminally ill to end their life on their own terms. Maynard, who had brain cancer, moved to Portland so she could use Oregon's law to end her own life, which she did on November 1st. The Liberty Beat is made possible through the support of Midas Resources Incorporated, helping clients convert their paper 401ks and IRAs to solid gold and silver. Get their 10 Reasons book free by calling 800-686-2237. That's 800-686-2237. Want to reach tens of thousands of like-minded listeners every day with your messenger product? The Liberty Beat is looking for sponsors for their daily news service. Support this grassroots media project while expanding your reach to a targeted market. To inquire further, visit thelibertybeat.com slash advertise. This is the Liberty Beat for Thursday, November 20th, 2014. I'm Brian Hagan reporting, reminding you, spread liberty with a smile. Thomas the Tank Engine says he's a little uneasy with his broad autistic following, and a couple has a nest egg of debt to make sure they've got some money to owe down the road. This is the Onion Week in Review. Local video editor James Korf told reporters Wednesday that despite having said goodbye over 10 minutes ago, his friend, Michael Woodward, still remained active on Gchat and had shown no signs of leaving. If it were yellow, it would mean that he hasn't been on the computer for a little while, or if it was red, it would mean he doesn't want to talk, but it's green, I can tell, I can see it right there. Korf later said that he felt briefly relieved when Woodward's chat logo turned orange, but was once again dejected when it became green within seconds. And in this week's op-ed pages, a high school guidance counselor laments the fact that no one in his entire damn school has been molested. In other news, a bed bug feels bad for an area man, but a bug's gotta eat. A development exec wants to see what, where, and how that would look, live, and play out. And a man at the gym is just watching TV. TV. For more, visit theonion.com slash newsbeat. This is the Onion News Network. Free Talk Live, 855-450-3733. That's 855-450-FREE. It's Mark with you. Danica. And Johnson. 855-450-3733. Do you have Bitcoin? Do you need a car? Well, check out New Age Auto Sales. They've got late model used cars that they've cared for from their rental fleet. New Age Auto Sales is selling their own well-maintained cars. Um, that way, and, and, and because of that, they don't have auction fees or transportation costs, and those aren't going to get it passed on to you. Their cars are in great condition. They're priced to move, and they can ship them anywhere in the world. So go to NewAgeAutosales.com and see what they've got. They're looking to be the Bitcoin auto dealer. Obviously, they do take cash. Um, but with Bitcoin, your money never has to be exchanged into dollars. It's NewAgeAutosales.com for late model, well-maintained cars shipped anywhere in the world for Bitcoin. So, you Bitcoin folks, I know... You've, you, I've, I've heard you guys saying you want more people who are selling things in Bitcoin because, you know, that's really what's going to take Bitcoin and move it to the next level. You got to buy stuff with them. Check out NewAgeAutosales.com. Go there. Go to the site. Take a look. If you're interested, at least give them a call. Find out what kind of deal they could make you. It's NewAgeAutosales.com. We were talking to Dalton, calling in from uh, Grand Forks, North Dakota, and he had some uh, questions initially as to uh, what what do we think? He's been a Facebook friend for a while, but you know it's kind of hard to pin Free Talk Live down because you know we don't think like a lot of people who are on the radio. Our ideas are a little fringe, perhaps. Dalton, yeah, no, that's definitely true. <laughs> <laughs> so, um. When you're uh, confronted with these these new ideas, how'd you end up uh, finding the Facebook page? Oh, just um, just doing um, you know 
basically roaming around Facebook looking for uh, other liberty minded people and whatnot and you know pages to like and you know stuff just to stay informed and you know found your guys's and uh um uh, either recommended or found yours i can't remember quite but um yeah no oh, and uh i've only been a, i just recently turned you know i guess i, I hate labels but anarcho capitalist i guess you could okay. say just a few months ago but uh you know, like they say, you know, what's the difference between a libertarian and an anarcho capitalist is six months. So I like to say it's the two worst words in English stuck together. But uh. I'm just curious, you know, how did you like come to the ideas of, you know, fi- of finding liberty? Like what, what kind of took you onto this path? I don't know. Like, it's pretty funny because I started out as like, that's like, you know, born in a very conservative family. My dad was a Republican or sure, whatever else. Here. So. I grew up that way, but then high school hit, and I was a Che Guevara shirt wearing, you know, socialist, you know, loved me some uh, Michael Moore DVDs, whatnot, and and then I started. Um, I think it was the presidential debates when I when I first started seeing Ron Paul talking, and he was just making way too much sense to me. I'm like, what? He's like using such basic language, but he's just ripping these guys a new one. I'm like, what is this? And I, I dug deeper, and I just went on YouTube binges, and I learned that, you know, I mean, it kind of complemented what I used to have been, you know, been into as being a Republican, sort of, but not really. Um, and it just spiraled from there. Yeah, I think know, this I this movement the, appeals to Henry people. Hazlitt and everything like that. I think so. this p- p- movement appeals to people who are thinking their minds are yeah. moving uh on this subject because oh, yeah. you know you know i mean you're dy- dynamic right like you've changed throughout your life you're looking for oh, yeah. uh, new yeah, ideas I'm and this if, if you knew the stuff that i'd talk about and learn and read about you'd think i'm just crazy but you know so this is definitely something i'm crazy about one of the things you know so yeah, I just I I dove into it head first, you know, as you know, Doug Casey and Ron Paul, and then Peter. Those are all Jim the names. And, I do appreciate uh, the call, you know Dalton, I mean? and feel free to call in in the future. Eight fifty five four fifty free. Let's go to Blake, calling in from I don't know. Listen to the podcast, Blake. You're on Free Talk Live, Seattle. There you go, Blake. You're on Free Talk yeah, Live. Yeah, oh, yeah. How you guys doing? All's well. Good. All right. Yeah, I just basically have a friend that. Uh, would like to know how to get Bitcoin into cash. Turn Bitcoin into cash. Right, right. Yeah, most of the uh, services they, out there will turn cash into Bitcoins, and uh, right. they don't really turn right. Bitcoin into cash. I think that, that uh, the reason for that is is that uh, you know there might be some issues as far as money, services, businesses, and things like that. Well, you could sell to an individual, or you... Uh, I- they may have changed their name, but I believe it was cashintocoins.com. Or yeah, but that would be cash into coins. That's cash but, into coins. But I believe that you can sell your Bitcoin back. You to them, can but, if there's enough. I don't know what the quantities we're talking right, about. Right, I don't here. know what they would be selling it at, but I, I do believe that they would exchange it. I'd look at localbitcoins.com. Right, um, that's, I think that's yeah, that's, that's a better. that's a much better. Yeah, the, I think Bitstamp too. Right, doesn't Bitstamp allow you still? I don't know the answer. What yeah. you're looking for is what's well, called a Bitcoin exchange, and an exchange is where you can buy and sell. But I do think that the best way is to sell to someone you know or to do uh, to— That way the government right. doesn't like track it or whatever. On, yeah, but if you were to do this on like a, like a regular basis, like let's say you're trying to you know, do business across the country and you know, send and receive money uh, you know, with, with minimal fees or no fees, um, I, I know that's the statement of Bitcoin. I'm just— well, okay, how, so how, the reality of, uh, of of exchanging money is that it has costs to it. If you're going to do business right. in Canadian dollars and you want to switch them into U.S. dollars on a regular basis, you're going to pay fees, and there's no way right. to not pay fees doing that. Right. So that's right. one of my critiques with Bitcoin early on was that you uh, had to— you know why would I? Why do I care if I pay three percent on PayPal if I've got to pay a half a, a, a percent and a half on Bitcoin on either side going in and going out? Why does this is a, an thing. advantage to to me? And yeah. now that you can do business with Bitcoins without having to get out of it, it is a real advantage. Right. Do it, basically the idea is stay within the Bitcoin economy if while well, you can. You know, right. buy equipment, computer equipment, buy a car. What you know if you can. You know, just stay in the in the exchange bit- it for. Gift 
gift cards. Yeah, sure. There's gift, there's gift gift cards, there's uh, you know, overstock. There's lots of businesses out there that you can buy whatever you want <laughs> in like Bitcoin. A car so. from New right. Age Auto sure. <laughs> So, you know, stay stay in the Bitcoin economy. Don't necessarily exchange it is the, the first bit of advice, but if you need to try and stay local or use an exchange. Yeah, the only way that uh, the exchanging would work, uh, you know, within his business would be definitely to draw cash out to, you know, keep doing the business. So it, it may be um, PayPal. Yeah, that wouldn't work. It may be a, a BitPay. It might be another choice too if he wants to do business and it's a lot of transactions. That's BitPay.com. Sure. So right. there's a lot of options. Okay. I hope that was helpful, Blake. Right on. Appreciate it. It really was. I, pr- I appreciate you guys. Thank you. Thank you. 855-450-3733. Free Talk Live isn't the Bitcoin program, but we do know a lot about it. And we're, you know, I'm happy to answer some questions. Um, Bitcoin is really moving. It's a force for good, in my opinion. It's uh, moving into the mainstream. And, uh, you know, Gavin Andreessen, the head developer of Bitcoin, Roger Veer, a man known as Bitcoin Jesus, both these guys credit Free Talk Live as uh, <laughs> kicking Bitcoin to the moon. And I am uh, delighted that that's the case. Let's go to Pete calling in. Uh, from Long Beach. Pete, you're on Free Talk Live. What's on your mind? Hey, what's on my mind? Well, you know this thing with Ferguson right now and the verdict and whatnot? Have they have they given a verdict? Well, they're gonna they're gonna let him off. I guarantee you they are, you okay. know. But but the thing is, you know, they're gonna start trying to send provocateurs in there to so they can do something. I mean, what's your take on that? What do you think we should do if they they call martial law. Well, when, it's a good, where do we draw the line in this? There's a good chance that uh, agents provocateur may be entered into the uh, protests. Um, and if people can be lured into doing something violent, then uh, likely you'll see what you see out of that. It isn't going to be pretty. Um, if they Are you suggesting that they're going to make martial law across the United States or just— uh, I'm, Well, I'm suggesting they're going to test the water. That's what they always do. They try to see how much the public will tolerate. The so, public will tolerate martial law. It. That's a good point there. Well, why, why do we even talk about freedom if the, if the public doesn't love freedom? They'd rather have sports or whatever, you know? Well, I mean, the reason that I um, I talk about it is because I don't really care about what the public wants for themselves. I want freedom for myself. And if I, I want to know morally, should I be able to extricate myself from this system? If I don't want to pay for war taxes, shouldn't I be able to stop? Shouldn't I be able to create my own little country? I, it seems to me that I should. Thanks for the call, Pete. 855-450-FREE. That's 855-450-3733. Are you searching for your soulmate? Someone you can trust who will never betray you or cooperate with the NSA? Stop searching. With EasyDNS, you found a keeper. EasyDNS does it all. Domain names, web hosting, and managed WordPress hosting. EasyDNS stands up for your internet freedom. And with servers in Canada, they do not cooperate with the NSA. Go to EasyDNS.com. You'll love their services or get a full refund. They guarantee it. And they accept Bitcoin. That's EasyDNS.com. Here's a good idea. When you have a legal matter like creating your will or legally setting up a business with a corporation or LLC, you don't necessarily need a law firm. Use LegalZoom.com. At LegalZoom.com, you answer straightforward questions online, and they take care of the rest. They even review your answers for common mistakes and guarantee your satisfaction. Free Talk Live listeners, you'll get 10% off your order by typing in FTL in the referral box at purchase. Don't procrastinate with these important legal documents. LegalZoom.com. On the average, Americans work between 45 to 50 years hoping to build up enough wealth to retire and live out their golden years. Unfortunately, with taxation, the rising cost of food, energy, housing, and medical, many retirees are forced to live below the poverty line. Is this a flaw free enterprise, or is our monetary unit we call the Federal Reserve Note forcing us into perpetual debt, ensuring inflation and higher taxes? These questions and more can be answered by reading G. Edward Griffin's book, The Creature from Jekyll Island. Congressman Ron Paul states it's what every American needs to know about central bank power. A gripping adventure into the secret world of international banking cartel. Hi, this is Ted Anderson. I will give a silver dollar from the early 1900s to anyone who purchases this book. Call 1-800-686-2237 and order a copy today. It's critical that the public be made aware of the system. Call and order your copy today at 1-800-686-2237. That's 1-800-686-2237.
So the protection of life, liberty, and property is, is what the Free State Project is all about, but it's an, it's an effort to move 20,000 people who understand. It's about demonstrating to the entire country. That, yeah, we can have a free market, a truly free market. Making it just a freer, great place to live. It's the world's largest voluntarist libertarian community and it's it's only getting bigger. That's amazing to be able to move to a place where other people like passionately believe in being free and independent. What the Free State Project is managing to do though is to put their money where their mouth is. It's physically getting up across the country and saying let's go someplace and let's demonstrate the power of these ideas. There's a lot of kind of philosophy that surrounds liberty. There's a lot of thinking about it and talking about it. But here in New Hampshire, people are doing it. 101 Reasons Liberty Lives in New Hampshire, a documentary by Free State Project Early Movers. Watch it free at 101reasonsfilm.com, 101reasonsfilm.com. If you want to know the latest about Free Talk Live before we go on the air, all you need to decide is how you want it delivered. It's your choice. Visit news.freetalklive.com. You can get emailed announcements and participate in contests via our email updates list. Plus, we have a Twitter account that you can follow and a Facebook page where you can become a fan. So visit news.freetalklive.com to get news about Free Talk Live as soon as it's announced and the way you want it delivered at news.freetalklive.com. That's news.freetalklive.com. My name is Jacob Hornberger. I'm president of the Future of Freedom Foundation, which Congressman Ron Paul awarded for having an outstanding freedom website. Write us at fff at fff.org, and we'll send you a free three-month subscription to our monthly journal of libertarian essays and our booklet, Economic Liberty in the Constitution, which George Mason University economics professor Walter Williams praised in a recent column. That's fff at fff.org. While our satellite channel is free to listen to, it's not free for us. You can help us cover our satellite costs with the chip-in on the right side of the page at lrn.fm. Free. That's 855-450-3733. You can give us a call and talk about whatever's on your mind, 855-450-3733, or use Skype. Actually, we've got our Skype lines are full at this time, but it's lrn.fm is our Skype username, and usually come across sounding a little better there. It's Mark with you. Danica. And Johnson. And antiwar.com is the single best site if you want to news on U.S. foreign policy that isn't from a pro-war standpoint. Um, what they don't have, however, is a pot of gold. And, you know, the government and the mainstream media, they don't have any problem getting money. Whereas antiwar.com, their staff is down to a skeleton crew with minimal pay. They're committed to keeping the website up with the best of the worst of all the bad news, but they can't do it for free, and they can't do it without you. They need your donation. Please go to antiwar.com, donate, call them today, antiwar.com slash donate, because war is the health of the state. Let's go to Chris Cantwell calling in from, well, I'm trying to go to Chris Cantwell calling in from on Skype. This is the reason I shouldn't take two Skype calls at one time, because I just don't know what I'm doing. Yeah, press the pause maybe. All right, Chris, you're on Free Talk Live. Hey, good to be with you guys. I'm sorry if you've already beaten this into the ground, but uh, have you talked at all about the negative backlash from the from the Colbert report tonight? We've talked yes, about. Yes, we certainly have. We've you talked know? about it. I, I made right. some good zingers. You got to listen. <laughs> well, I got I got to tell you, I I know that we talked about it on, online a little bit earlier, Johnson. But you know, I'm furious about this, and I actually just saw Jack Hunter of all people. Uh, post a Murray Rothbard quote. Did you guys you guys see this? No, I don't no. know. Okay, so Jack Hunter, if you guys aren't familiar with him, he's like he goes by the Southern Avenger. Oh yes, this, the Southern Avenger, yes. Right. So this lunatic wants to refight the Civil War of all things, right? He's trying to restore <laughs> the bloody republic. Are you certain of that? Uh, well, you know, I don't know. He wants to actually, you know, go pick up muskets or anything like that. Well, but with a name really like Southern day, Avenger, right? it seems pretty clear he wants to avenge the South. <laughs> 
Okay. Right. <laughs> so, so the idea here, so anyway, so he's got a post up on Facebook, and unfortunately, you know, Jack, Jack uh, is something of a public figure, but doesn't like to leave his posts open for public comment, so I figured that this would be a fine venue to do it on. He says, uh, here's a Murray Rothbard quote from 1987 worth reading before you read this story, and the Murray Rothbard quote goes as, so, as follows. We face an inner problem and paradox, not only for libertarians, but for any radical minority ideological movement, for marginal movements to attract marginal people. Such such movements are filled with what Germans call Luftmunchen, uh, the sort of people who instinctively alienate the mainstream bourgeois Americans not so much by the content of their ideas, but that by their lack of style, lack of moorings, and counterculture. So, you know, maybe that sounds like a prudent thing, and, you know, like 55 people have, have liked this post, but I just think it's really funny from a, coming from a guy like Jack Hunter, whose history of um, racial commentary makes me sound like Antonio Bueller. Uh, <laughs> who's Antonio Bueller? Antonio Bueller is a left-wing activist from Texas who screams about— uh, it, well, he's really just anti-white. He's not, like, anti-racism, but he's always screaming about anti-racism, right? Okay. Um you know, and it, it's it's something that, that really upset me. And, of course, to, for him to be quoting Murray Rothbard, too, is just sort of ridiculous to me. Because, of course, you know, Jack was a guy who, uh, as I said, is is more like, a, you know, the Southern Avenger. He wants to uh, rev avenge the South. He doesn't, he doesn't, uh, well, he thinks that the Civil War is really all that's wrong with America. And if we everybody, could just undo that, then we can go well, back to the good old days. Everybody thinks that they're issue and their type of activism is the important one and the, the rest of us should focus on that thing and it's it's certainly not uncommon in the liberty movement for people to get those critiques if you guys would just focus on this or that and that's the problem with the liberty movement here in new hampshire is you know i mean everybody's got a different issue and you can either support or not support that particular issue that's up to you but they're going to push their issue and that's it's fine i mean things seem to be going forward i I guess I at this point I'm just not going to get all bent out of shape about this stuff. I, I didn't I, like I could, the video. I was not happy about seeing the video, and oh. I felt alienated in Keene when I saw you know from from Keene and the people the in town. I feel like uh, part of the victimized group when I saw the video. You feel you you've been victimized by this? Part? I kind of feel like it. Yeah, I mean, I feel like oh god, here I am. There's the everybody's gonna call. I like I feel like a more of a free keener than not a free keener, right? And so here they are. They're calling me a bad person because I know these people or whatever. That's how I feel. Well, I'm sorry about your feels there, Mark. I, I hate to see your, your feels get hurt. But, the, but you know, I, I thought the video was great, personally. I understood, you know, you don't sign a waiver for the Colbert Report and think that the guy's not going to make fun of you. I mean, he's a comedian. This is what he does for a living. He didn't Comedy make fun Central of Comedy is a liberal media outlet. They're going to, they're, their writers are our political rivals. I mean, our choices are to either get made fun of by the Colbert Report or to not be on Comedy Central. Right? So, that Chris, I, I actually read on air earlier, I quoted you from the uh, the the group you know online on facebook where you the the comment that you made that started with being people being nice to people is great as long as they're nice to you um i read that that quote from you, uh, you. and and you know i just i think that it's i mean again it's you know non activists uh, you know are are ring, hand wringing and i think that uh you know some people you, you know are just i don't know too up in arms about uh what is essentially colbert giving attention and, and that you know people don't do that if they don't think that it's worth talking about yeah if, if if folks are really that upset about what we did out here then i'll tell you what just go uh you know go buy a comedy central ad you know go buy a, a seven minute spot on comedy central and uh you know tell me how much that costs and see if you can raise that much money because we we probably did more uh, more for the cause, more to raise awareness about New Hampshire last night than what, most of the people who are crying and, and wringing their hands out about this. What do you think is good going to come out of this? What, what's that good thing that's going to come out of this? The good thing is the attention to it, Mark. It's, it's more it's, signers. It's, what's that? Signers. Uh, hopefully, movers. Right? Have I you mean, seen a Have you seen a traffic bump today? Have I seen a traffic bump today? To your of website? Course. Yeah. Yeah. Of course. Of yeah. course. But no, but people aren't. How much but, are we talking about here? I mean, I'm not breaking records, okay. you know, but but you know, it's 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 
three times what I saw yesterday easily. You and, know, it's more than well, more than three, three times, times what I got is, yesterday. It's a and it's a nice bump, but actually, your website itself is not even uh, listed in the video at all. Um, in the the video, but his clip. name is. It, it is. And if you're gonna Google his name, that's gonna be the first result. Indeed. Right. And the other thing that I have on uh, what I have on my website is I have the full videos of those articles, and I am getting traffic on YouTube. I don't know that I can, I don't think I can get real time stats on that. No, you can't. But, not till tomorrow. Yeah, so the thing about that is, you know, so people are now watching those videos and they're seeing the entire video. If you watch the entire story, if you actually pay attention to what's going on here, I mean, the Robin Hooding thing has done a lot of good. It's cost the city $80,000. That money's a lot better in the hands of motorists than it is in the city council, right? There's a lot of good things going on here. So when it, maybe people decide to look at it. And if they don't decide to look at it, then we're in the exact same spot that we were before. If they hate us, they hate us. We're not surprised, right? People don't like freedom. Sure. You know? So I'm, I, look, I, I, I know that you've got to live with this, Mark. And again, sorry about your feels, but this is, we're doing good things here and it's just raising attention for it. And I can't believe the negative backlash that has come against us from our own people. I expect this from MSNBC. I expect right. it from the Colbert Report. I don't expect Expect it from Jack Hunter. Continue to expect it. Thanks for the call, <laughs> Cantwell. 855 450 free or username lrn.fm. That's as in Liberty Radio Network. lrn.fm on uh, Skype. For all our loyal listeners, it's time for another giveaway. Over the next 30 days, our friends at supernaturalsilver.com are giving away six 16 ounce supernatural silver liquid valued at nearly $100 per bottle or their skin and body gel priced at $49.98. All you have to do is enter and win at GCNlive.com. Hurry, contest ends December 5th. GCN can give you and your loved ones a fighting chance with the Supernatural Silver giveaway at GCNlive.com. This is Dan Pillett. Do you owe the IRS money you can't pay? Are tax debts crippling you? I've defended people from the IRS for over 30 years. I've helped thousands, and I can help you too. I wrote the book on IRS settlement, and I'm telling you, there's no such thing as a hopeless case. Call 800-34-NO-TAX to finally get free of IRS debt. With the IRS's new programs, there's never been a better time to solve your problem. Call 800-34-NO-TAX. That's 800-34-NO-TAX or my website, danpilla.com. Take the Field's mission is to inform baseball players that physical activity is nothing to be scared of. That a little bit of running can be fun. Now, Rebecca, this obesity problem is nothing new. Well, right. There is a culture of obesity in baseball that has been around for years. I mean, coaches even sub in healthy pinch runners instead of encouraging their overweight players to hustle, depriving them of the only cardiovascular exercise they might have a chance to get. And a lot of these athletes have been playing baseball since they were kids. Well, right. So they might have never learned any healthy habits. Baseball is fine in moderation. But many of these men spend over 200 days a year playing it, and that adds up. The program encourages players once an hour to take a 15-minute break from baseball to do something active, like go up and down some stairs, go for a walk, or play some basketball. All right, well, thanks, Rebecca. If you're a baseball coach and you're worried about your player's health, go to takethefield.gov for a list of healthy activities and nutritious snacks. Coming up next, does America brains get worse hearing words correct? This is the Onion News Network. This is Mark of Free Talk Live. We've been witnessing a meltdown of the economic engine that powers our country. With a printing press tethered to Washington bureaucrats and New York central bankers, how can we trust paper money? For years, I've been buying gold and silver from Midas Resources, and you should too. Call 877-357-9938 for a free book titled 10 Reasons to Own Gold, or go to gold.freetalklive.com. Again, 877-357-9938. 877-357-9938. Here's a chance to do a little activism while you're cruising Facebook, Twitter, or Google+. Between the LOL cats, the recipes, the hot girls, and the inspirational sunrise memes, Free Talk Live's posts pass by your newsfeed. Like them. Comment. It gives us more exposure. If you don't see our posts, click like at facebook.freetalklive.com and then hover over it to click get notifications. It's an easy way to spread the ideas of liberty a bit further. I know you're busy, but you can spare that tenth of a calorie it takes to click on something. Facebook.freetalklive.com. What if the key to achieving liberty in your lifetime was to move together with others who think like you? Liberty activists are joining the Free State Project, which is over 70% of the way to its goal of 20,000 participants. And they're already making the move to New Hampshire. The successes are piling up and are proving the Free State Project is a real movement and no longer just a great idea. When you're planning your move, consider Keen. 
Burkina is famous for its civil disobedience and non-cooperation, and there's plenty of political opportunity as well. From demonstrations and vigils to outreach and volunteering, there's a lot going on in Keene. Keene is the liberty media capital of the world, with television, talk radio, and more, all originating here. Though it's more than just activism, with regular social events each week. See what's happening at freekeen.com and get connected with video, audio, free books, a forum, and activist tools you can download and use in your area at freekeen.com. That's freekeen.com. Help get LRN.FM into more ears. Visit promote.lrn.fm for a free bumper sticker, flyers, banners, graphics, and more. Promote.lrn.fm. Free Talk Live, 855-450-3733. That's 855-450-FREE. It's Mark with you. Danica. And Johnson. If you value your online privacy, you need ProXPN. ProXPN is a global, virtual, private network, which means that it creates an encrypted tunnel from your computer to the website you're visiting through your ISP. Your ISP never knows what you're looking at, and therefore, when they keep the records of what they're looking at, they just get a bunch of gobbledygook. If, for whatever reason, the NSA is peeking in at what you're doing... They're getting gobbledygook. If somebody who wants to get your banking information from your Wi-Fi router or whatever, they're getting encrypted nonsense. And this is something you need. If you're using the Internet, this is this is the prophylactic that keeps out the bad stuff on the Internet. It's proxpn.com slash FTL. When you use promo code FTL50 when you sign up, you'll get 50% off an annual account. So that brings it down to like five bucks a month. And if you use Bitcoin, you can use FTL BTC. That's the abbreviation for Bitcoin. Free Talk Live BTC. So FTL BTC and pay with Bitcoin. You'll get even more off than that. It's an even larger discount. So it's great. Um, you get a, a full money back guarantee uh, available to you. It's proxpn.com slash FTL. FTL. It's FTL50 or FTL BTC to get a great discount on privacy. And the privacy is priceless. Let's go to Jose calling in from California. Jose, you're on Free Talk Live. Yes, hello. Yes, what's on your yes, mind, hello. sir? Can you... Yes, I actually wanted to talk about, I don't know if you guys read the story about a rapper from California who might serve life in prison for his rap lyrics. No, uh, yeah, maybe. Uh, yes, I did read the story. It's in my show prep. I didn't get to it tonight. Tell me the story. Yes, um, well, a rapper who got what's called 186, what the police call it, which is gang affiliation. Yeah. Oh, which that's they right. Don't really have to have, so he made they money don't have to have off of a killing. Yes, that's what the accusation is. So but tell me were, what happened. Well, the 186, I want to talk about because it, it's not hard to get. Like, I've gotten it for three different gangs, and all of them are enemies. Okay. So it's kind of interesting how they do it, but what happens is they charge you for, you know, support of the gang, even if you're not a member. If you say anything that they consider supportive of what they would consider criminal activity, they could charge you. And what it does is it doubles your time. So if they sentence you to, like, 20 years, you'll get 40. So you have to have done something wrong, and this is sort of a, a, an exacerbating circumstance to the charge? Well, you don't have to do anything wrong, technically. It's just speech? It's, um, Yes, it's kind of like um, RICO Act. It's kind of like that where you could say something or you could uh, – they charge you with racketeering even if you don't have anything to do with it or they could charge you. It's like a kind of all grab for anyone who they assume is gang affiliated. Has it been taken to court and uh, stood up in the California Supreme Court? Um, well, that's what is, is interesting. The article said this is the first time. I know there's rappers who have been charged in California before for support of gangs. But this is the first time they said that that one has actually been used. I see. So this guy, Brian Watkins, who's uh, the attorney for the rapper, has said he's he's quoted as saying, it's shocking he has no criminal record, nothing in his lyrics say, go out and commit a crime, nothing in his lyrics reference these shootings, yet they are holding him liable for conspiracy. There are huge constitutional issues. Because essentially they're... Uh, Saying California saying that freedom of speech is a privilege, not a right. Yeah, as long as you don't say the things we don't like. 
It's shocking, Jose. Um, yeah, I, I, I wish I had a solution for you. Get out of California? I don't really have anything else. Yeah, I was, uh, it's getting shy. I was, uh, especially as a musician myself, I was uh, now I, even more. I'm worried about things that could be taken out of context. That's what they want you to do. They want you to worry. Yeah. This is a this is an, an intentional chilling on free speech. Yeah, it's, uh, it's like an instant kill. I was, uh, they actually convict him. He could serve life. They said. And uh, California prisons not so great. Thanks for the call, Jose. Appreciate it. I mean, certainly, you know, we're aware of the the. the environment for free speech you certainly couldn't have a howard stern emerge these days you, you mean on the radio yeah i that, don't know that era is long over i don't know that that's the case uh the fcc has uh lightened loosened the clamps um totally disagree i, I mean I, yeah, and i listen I to this i either. listen to edgy radio i always have and it's like now even on xm you know uh people are getting fired for things that are really? ridiculous like ridiculous um, one of the well-known things besides Howard Stern is the Open Anthony show, and Anthony was fired recently. Yeah, he was well, fired, fired for yeah. tweeting, though. Um, right. He wasn't even fired for anything he said on the radio show, and the tweets that he had are misinterpreted. Uh, well, yeah, I mean, but the, the suggestion um, with the Anthony thing is is that he's calling black people animals. Right, which is not what he was doing. He was calling violent people animals, okay. people who were attacking him. And they, and Sirius chose to uh, misinterpret it and chose to fire him over it. And, you mean, yeah. I mean, it's certainly not a stretch for him. I mean, he's certainly made racist jokes before, but he's a comedian. Yeah, I, I uh, wonder about the whole, uh, you know, the, the whole racist joke thing. It's interesting how, uh, you know, some groups can make, a, you can make jokes about, uh, like, basically white comedians can't make racial jokes. And right. that's just so, sort of the end, end of the line. When right. It comes and, to that. You know, it's like, oh, great. He's making racial jokes while he's hanging out with Patrice O'Neill at his house. You know, the former, uh, the late comedian Patrice O'Neill. Big black guy, you know, Kevin, uh, you start naming all these, uh, you know, black comedians who Anthony hangs out with on a regular basis. Yeah, real racist. He's probably, you know, and I've, I see that happen so often where people say that somebody who has said something race, racist, they or even like they could be interpreted as racist. You're such a racist when they're people who hang out with more black folks than the person who's making the racial well, accusation yeah, people don't ever spend, have in their entire lives. People don't want to spend any time suggest uh, to digging into any stories oh, and yeah. finding out the truth. That much is true. Let's go to Liberty Phoenix. Liberty Phoenix, you're on Free Talk Live. Hey, guys. Uh, Mark, I have a bit of a proposition for you. A proposition for me. Uh -oh. All right. Um, a buddy of mine and I were talking the other day, and we were amusing uh, upon what it would be like to purchase Rogers Campgrounds. Okay. And I commented that that's not something that I want whatsoever. It would cost way too much to overhaul the sewer systems. Yeah. Is there any parcel of land that you think would be, you know, proper for uh, for a a pork fest setting that could do have uh, that could have you know plumbing installed and so forth? We've looked at a few places, but I mean, the, the price tags are going to be big for any place that's going to be big enough and have any kind of improvements that would be um, would accommodate what two thousand, three thousand people for a camping festival for a week. Um, you'd also have to basically dedicate your life to it because you would either you more or less, I would suggest, you would have to basically run a campground many months out of the year. Uh, Pork fest is only one week maybe you can stretch it out 10 days or two weeks or something like that but you know if that's where if that's all you're going to get out of it it wouldn't be worth buying something for just two weeks i would well, con yes, contend well, um, that rogers campground could be the plumbing could be overhauled sure. if that's the piece of property well, you wanted think about just you know, how long the winters would go to like how long would your campground be you know not in operation too you'd probably go from um, memorial day to labor day well he also wants he also had the ideas of you know building the um, the resource-based economy hub there as well. He's a bit of a resource-based economist, but um, so he wants know, to he wants to make uh, you know basically his own agorist community, a, a centralized computer running everything. Yeah. Oh, okay, that's interesting. Um, <laughs> I, you know, but, I mean, there are pieces of property that uh, that it might be worth starting this on. It's a it is an endeavor. Can well, hit? so how much how much would you uh, would you part for a couple of your acres worth? My okay. acres at my house? Oh, yeah. <laughs> you don't want to go in my. You don't want to be in my town. They will not put you up see, with your could, crap. Then we could all succeed together. 
It'd be awesome. Thanks for the call. 855 450 free. Um, actually, uh, I have 11 acres. You have to have 11 acres to get current use, which is a tax reduction. Um, I wouldn't be interested in parting with any of them for that very reason. Uh, your calls coming up. You might be able to squeeze you in, as a matter of fact, 855-450-3733. Or you can call us on Skype, lrn.fm is our username. It's 855-450-FREE. Free Talk Live, lrn.fm. Gabino lives in Palcapata, Peru. He buys old appliances like irons, radios, and TV sets, fixes them up, and resells them. He saw an opportunity to expand his business and needed a loan to buy more appliances. Free Talk Live helped him get a loan, and the expansion was a success. You can help us help more people by getting your coffee through coffee.freetalklive.com. Make a difference, one cup at a time. Get a free pound to try out the subscription. Cancel anytime. Coffee.freetalklive.com. Attention men, are you urinating often, waking at night to urinate? We want to send you a free bottle of Super Beta Prostate, made with a natural ingredient that supports healthy urine flow, bladder emptying, and is shown to reduce waking at night from the urge to urinate. You can try Super Beta Prostate free. Only pay shipping and handling. This free giveaway is available while supplies last. For details, just call 800-659-5412. That's 800-659-5412. Call 800-659-5412. For over five years, you've been hearing about the Berkey guy, so you may know a few things about him. For example, you are well aware of the superior quality and effectiveness of Berkey water filters and accessories. But did you know the Berkeys have had independent lab tests done to prove just how effective they are? It's true, and he can email you the test results. Just visit GoBerkey.com. You may also know that the Berkey guy has helped tens of thousands of people get better prepared. Now here's something you may not know. GoBerkey.com has amazing specials and deals all the time on a wide variety of survival and preparedness products. Most ready to ship same day. Visit the Berkey guy at GoBerkey.com and be sure to click the red Products on Sale Now button. You can always call toll-free 877-886-3653. Again, that's 877-886-3653. GoBerkey.com, home of the Berkey guy. Fact. The new NSA data center in Utah requires 1.7 million gallons of water every single day to operate. Billions of Fourth Amendment violations need massive computers and the water to cool them. That water is being supplied by the state of Utah. Fact, there's absolutely nothing in the Constitution which requires your state to help the feds violate your rights. Our message to Utah, turn it off. No water equals no NSA data center. Visit offnow.org. So you've heard all three hours of the latest episode of Free Talk Live, and you're still hungry for liberty-oriented audio content? Did you know that we have another 24-7 audio stream at lrn.fm? The Liberty Radio Network airs the latest episodes of some of the best liberty-oriented podcasts on the internet around the clock. In addition to recorded content, you'll also hear live shows like Free Talk Live, originating from our Keene, New Hampshire studio. So listen anytime at lrn.fm. That's lrn.fm. Radio is the most personal of mediums. I exist right now in your head. If you listen to Free Talk Live regularly, you know me. Free Talk Live is on more than 160 radio stations around the U.S. and has been downloaded on every continent around the world. Hundreds of thousands of listeners with ad packages from $600 a month to $6,000 a month. Imagine what we can do for your business, project, website, or idea. Email me, mark at freetalklive.com. This is the Liberty Radio Network, broadcasting the latest liberty-oriented audio content 24 hours a day at lrn.fm.
Talk Live, 855-450 free. Missed my cue there. 855-450-3733. Let's go directly to the calls here since I uh, appear to be running a little late. Um, let's go to Jeff calling in from uh, West Chicago. Jeff, you're on Free Talk Live. Hi, you guys. Um, I was wondering, you know, how would I accept Bitcoin? Like, let's say I do architectural carving and stuff. How would I accept it uh, for my work and, and advertise for it or something like that? Or where, where would I do that? Or is, is there some, you know, okay. is there like an, an eBay for Bitcoin instead of PayPal or something? There certainly are Ebays um, for, for Bitcoin, but I don't think that that would necessarily be useful for you. Um, you could promote your stuff on one of these Ebays for Bitcoin. And I would just, at that point, search, I think there's a bitgazette.com or something like that, but I would just search uh, eBay for Bitcoin and see what you came up with, um, or Bitcoin, Bitcoin auction sites, if, if that's what you're looking for. But if what you want to do is accept Bitcoin, if you're looking for a system to accept Bitcoin for your business, I would first ask you this question. Do you, how, how many uh, units do you sell in a month? Well, see, I was hoping to, you know, that would, would this, I mean, I don't have a specific answer for you. Okay. You know what I'm saying? I mean, it, it varies. and. Um, does it vary between so, 3 and 10, or does it vary between uh, 100 and 300? Probably more between 3 and 10. Okay. So what I would do in that circumstance is, is that I would just get a regular Bitcoin account at, say, blockchain.info. They actually have commercial accounts through blockchain.com. Uh, but if you go through blockchain.info, you can get a regular account. And then you can just generate a new bit, what they call wallet address. So it's basically just an account number. You can generate a new account number for every client that you're making one of these architectural sculptures for. And that way you know, basically, it's an invoice. It'll, it's like an invoice number, and you'll know whether it's paid or not. Because they've either paid you or they haven't paid you um, through that wallet address. You'll be able to see what's come into that particular wallet address and since you do probably higher end i mean i, I can't imagine i can't imagine you're doing too many architectural uh, sculptures for anything less than three or four hundred dollars would be my guess you'll you'll be able to keep a better grasp on it if you're selling widgets at three dollars a piece and you're selling a thousand of them a month then you've definitely got to go with one of the companies like bitpay or, or uh coin uh coinbase coinbase um to to do your business but if other if, with what you're doing i think i would probably just open a bitcoin wallet at blockchain.info and generate a new address for every client i haven't been able to write down the things as fast as you said said them the good news <laughs> is the uh jeff go the good news is is that you can go to freetalklive.com and you will be able to download the archives of this show in about an hour and uh you can just get the information back there and that's uh and, and so can anybody else who didn't wasn't able to write everything down thank you for the call sir let's go to um uh, nathan calling in from oh i can't remember i think nathan's in texas nathan you're on free talk live uh, I can just be on Skype since we're short on time. All right. So I, I went and watched that Colbert video, not the new one that they're talking about, but the one that Jim Jesus mentioned about Occupy Wall Street. Yes. And uh, I don't know. My thinking is that if you can use something like that to discredit an entire movement, then that's pretty weak. Um, people you know, must be easily brainwashed sheep if that's the case because no. it's a funny video. It's very funny, but – there's not a lot of substantive points that Colbert makes in it. I mean, he's mostly just kind of making fun of their mannerisms and the way they, the admittedly strange way they talk and the hand gestures. Apparently there's a, there's not just that one thing where you wiggle your fingers, but there's a whole set of the occupy hand gestures. You know, so, I don't have a lot of hope for the, the human uh, species. I'm, I'm sort of <laughs> the, with the 80, 20 <laughs> rule here. I'm sorry. This Ian hates it. When I do this, that I really do believe that 80% of uh, the, the human race is just, you know, they're, they're just go along to get alongs. Uh, not very, they don't, they don't spend any time thinking about anything. Their, their lives are consumed with, vapid and inconsequential crap that I have no interest in. And do I think that they spend any time, employ any time with critical thinking skills? Not on anything of any importance. And that may be, uh, it just, it challenges my notion uh, that I'm kind of, I kind of want to lean toward Cantwell on this, that, you know, you're getting attention and that's a good thing. But 
you know, from, from your perspective, it would be the opposite because, you know, you can just run a hit piece and convince people to turn against you and, you know, nothing is to be gained from doing that. Well, I would um, my argument if I if I had to take the argument from Ian and Cantwell's side on this one, what I would say um, is is let's just wait and see. Let's see the signups because when it came to the New York Times article that was disparaging about a year ago to the Free State Project, um, just go ahead and search New York Times Free State Project. You'll read the article. Um, it's a, a commentary, and it's it's ugly, but signups went up. There's no doubt about it. Uh, there's a video of Carla Garicki, Garrick, uh, whatever the president of the Free State Project, talking about what um, she, uh, you know, what what the results were from some press that the Free State Project's gotten over in different circumstances. You would also have to look at, um, you know, people like uh, Ian and Cantwell and James Cleveland and and Garrett Ian and look at their activism in total, not just in this video. And to be fair, so. I'm taking a middle-of-the-line approach. I can tell you how I felt when I saw the video, and I felt victimized. I felt put upon by, uh, you know, the Colbert rapport and the perception that maybe some people in Keene have of me based on the people that I, some of the people I hang out with. But that's just it. That's how I felt. Well, uh, I'll, I guess I'll end my call on an optimistic note. It kind of reminds me of something Derek Jay said on the other uh, the other day that. A lot more people came into Johnson's store in Keene than he anticipated. You know, it was well, just like, I store, had but... no idea there were all these. Okay. He <laughs> <laughs> was just like, I had no idea that there were all these people who, uh, you know, kind of the silent majority, if you will, that really, you know, doesn't like the bureaucrats in Keene and supports us and, uh, you know, is now happy to turn out and uh, buy stuff in our store. I wouldn't so call I it a that. silent majority, but uh, if you consider that Ian got 16% of the vote when he ran for something, some some city position here not too long ago, 16 per- if you can get 16% of a community to do business with you, you're in pretty good shape. Yeah. So there you go. Indeed. Thanks for the call, Nathan. Appreciate it. I mean, even do business or whatever, I mean, I'm sure that there's plenty of people who... Uh, they're out there that support us, and maybe maybe they don't want to vote for Ian. Maybe they're not in that position. They're not ready to vote, but they still are fine with what's going on. Yeah, you know? there's I mean, there's a, a whole gray area above and beyond that sixteen percent. But you've got people that are coming and saying, "Well, we may not stand with you on nearly any of the yeah, issues or any of those but too. you know, we support you wanting to run a business. We like what you're doing, so keep it a good work and, and good right. luck." And they tell you work within the system, and then you open a business and they boycott you. It's mm-hmm. <laughs> Let's call get a job. Uh, get, get Fred calling in from Michigan. Fred, you're on Free Talk Live. Hey there, guys. What's okay, uh, as a veteran, I'm uh, really, uh, well, what shall we say, immensely uh, perturbed with the uh, 9-11 events and all the lies involved uh, in duping the American, uh, what I call primitive uh, armchair patriot stooges, uh, including all the flag waving. Um, and one of the uh, one of the uh, motivating directing entities is called PNAC, Project for the New American Century. I think I've heard of that. Um, the tw- Here I'm gonna I'm gonna quickly recite a white paper excerpt that was published in the Weekly Standard. Uh, William Crystal, Robert Kagan, who are members of PNAC. Uh, this is uh, 29 October 02. 02. The gathering storm. The gathering storm. What looms over the horizon? A wide-ranging war, from Central Asia to Middle East and the U.S. Afghanistan will prove but an opening battle. This war shall not end there. It shall spread and engulf numerous countries in conflicts of varying intensity. It shall require the use of American military power in multiple places simultaneously. It shall become the clash of civilizations everyone has hoped to avoid. Now, two yep, days ago, right. <laughs> two days ago, uh, William Cohen Carey, Secretary of State, stated, "Oh, this is not the clash of civilizations. This is the clash for civilization." Uh, and he's a he's definitely a contributor, uh, skull and bones buddy of all these uh, PNAC people, okay? So what we have here, they've done other papers as well. The PNAC group as far back as Clinton. I mean, you're just saying that basically these people are paid off by the military-industrial complex? 
Uh, absolutely. In fact, since time began, tyrants have taken aim at personal liberties. Now there's a movie that aims back. The government has no more right to tell us what to put in our bodies than they have to take our guns or tell us what books we can read. Six drug police were eaten by bears while raiding a marijuana farm. On your knees, you dirty hippies! Jesus. On your knees! What's the problem, officer? Today, many cops who enforce pot laws do so only because it provides them with cushy jobs, good benefits, and a chance to push people around. I was an undercover narcotics officer. The drug war is nothing but a farce. The Second Amendment says you gotta keep you and your gat intact. Guns and Weed, The Road to Freedom. A film by Michael W. Dean and Nima Vidati. DVD available now at GunsAndWeed.com or on Amazon. That's GunsAndWeed.com. Makes the perfect gift. Remember, that's GunsAndWeed.com. When I found the Free State Project, I knew it was the key to achieving liberty in my lifetime. It's awesome to be surrounded by like-minded, freedom-loving activists who've moved here to New Hampshire. From politics to civil disobedience, we have it all. Where I came from, it felt that no matter what I did, liberty was dying. Perhaps you feel the same way? Call 888-377-2515 now to learn more about the Free State Project. That's 888-377-2515 or visit freestateproject.org. Free Talk Live has partnered with Amazon, the largest internet retailer. Imagine a department store category, and Amazon has it. Books, electronics, office products, furniture, jewelry, automotive, toys, clothing, sporting goods, and dozens of other categories. Now you can shop and support Free Talk Live by entering Amazon through our website. Go to shop.freetalklive.com, and Amazon will send us a portion of your purchase. You're going to do the shopping anyway, so remember to enter through our site at shop.freetalklive.com. That's shop.freetalklive.com. The live edition of Peace News Now is next after the news here on the Liberty Radio Network, LRN.FM. This is the Liberty Beat, your daily source for Liberty News and activist updates online at thelibertybeat.com. I'm Brian Hagan with your Liberty Beat for Thursday, November 20th, 2014. Gold closed Wednesday at $1,179, down $15. Silver closed at $16.06, down $0.09. Cents. And Bitcoin is trading around $376.45. Today's Bitcoin price brought to you by ExpressCoin, the fastest and most reliable way to buy Bitcoin. Buy Bitcoin today at ExpressCoin.com. The Liberty Bean is brought to you by Marjorie Wildcraft's Grow Your Own Groceries, homegrown food on every table. That's GrowYourOwnGroceries.org. In the news, White House officials, speaking on condition of anonymity, say President Barack Obama will announce today executive action on immigration that will sidestep Congress while shielding millions from deportation. The Associated Press reports the administration is considering steps.